Okay. So, we're going to keep the music on in-game. Schmack. We're going to do a run focused on fungal shifting some of the new stuff, or Mimicium. I'm not ever going to call it Mimicium. I'm sorry. It's Mimicium. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to get some plastic, too. And then maybe shift plastic powder, but possibly also melt it into molten plastic and try to shift that as well but messing around with the new stuff we'll see sorry had some i'm having some sushi all right let me not like talk when there's still some in my mouth <laughs> anyway noita it's been a little while it's thursday or wait no it's friday oh my god it's yeah so, the AC is fixed. My air conditioning was broken. That's fixed now. Uh, and we got some pheromone. Amazing. I'm just going to drink all that. Get some water in there. So, the uh, AC is fixed. I got another video on the way out. A non-noita video. But, that one should be finished tomorrow. I'm working on three tracks, some new music. Yesterday, instead of streaming, like I was way too tired yesterday. Um, last night. I worked on this video all day, like writing the script pretty much. Hey Mitchell, what's up? Writing the script for this video all day. And then uh, I was going to stream last night at like 7pm. But uh, I was just too worn out from the past, the previous couple days. And yeah, just worked on music the whole night pretty much. And then it was like 3 a.m. and I'm like, oh shit, time to go to bed. Yeah, so pizza. I was gonna buy some pizza today too, as a treat, like a really expensive frozen one. But then I was like, nah, it's okay. I got, like, I went to the store hungry, and I ended up spending way too much money. <laughs> so, didn't need the pizza. Got sushi instead. But how's everyone, how's your week been? How you doing? Sorry, I'm not really, like, I'm still flustered from basically... Being out all over the place and then like huffing and puffing, running home and then throwing everything inside, putting it away real quick and then starting up stream while I'm still doing that. <laughs> uh. But now it's time to chill and noit. Crunchy California dog roll. Nice. John Robert Wilson had such a good run going, had all holy mountains intact. Fire immunity healers in the holy mountain before Hisi base. My mo my my mind, my wand had a plasma beam on a trigger and was trying to be really careful, still managed to annoy to myself. Had 254 HP and it was still an insta kill with the plasma. Yeah. Rip. Well, yeah, Plasma is, uh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> I did recommend people use it, but it is very deadly. It's one of the most deadly things in the entire game. I almost killed myself with Plasma yesterday, also. Could be blue or green. There's the Plasma Cutter as well. That's actually my favorite one. Plasma Cutter. Just because it digs, too. Pretty well. Let's go get the tablet. <clears throat> Green can cut. It cuts all right. It's pretty strong stuff. Nice. Yeah. What's up, hammies? Somebody got mad at me for pronouncing it like hammy. 
Hammies. That's my pet name for them. Because it's like Hammy Sammy. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I think some people don't realize that I give everything like pet names and they get mad when I mispronounce things. But then again, also, I'm really bad at mispronouncing things anyway. <laughs> so it's like you can't ever tell. Uh, vertical barrier. <clears throat> Blue can cut through some stuff, yeah. Including you. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't even think it's really because green can cut through brickwork and every cuts through everything. Uh, I don't even think that's why I like it more. I just, for some reason, I just prefer it. Let's see. We got shield. That's pretty good mana. Um, I do like the dynamite. We'll get rid of that for now. Also had Lumi with ping pong. Damn. Damn. See, if I have anything like that for general use, then the plasma I end up only using pretty much, unless I have a lot of HP. Uh, I end up just using the plasma just in case I need it for something else, like killing the wand connoisseur or, uh, you know, one of the other bosses. Pretty much. Plasma. So if I can already kill most things with Ping Pong Lumi and dig with Ping Pong Lumi, as long as there's enough mana on the wand, then I end up like the plasma's just like, ah, man, no, no hit run. <laughs> then the plasma's just like a bonus that I'll slap on for specific things. <clears throat> You're going to drown down there, Schmeagle or Deagle. Yes. I like the green one because it has less range, therefore less noiting. That's true, too. Yeah, that might be another reason why. I prefer that one. Yes, Mystery Man. The top of the new structures remind you of Rain World. Yeah. Ah, All that new stuff up there, it's just... I love the vibes. I love how it adds like a slightly different feel, a more mysterious feel to the game. Noito already has a lot of mystery, but adding more to that is just, thanks for killing everything for me, buddy. It's so great. Nice. Ow. How did you shoot me through that? One pellet to the face. <clears throat> hey, Gonzo. Nice. I hope you're having a good day. Happy lunch break. Happy Friday. Yes. So the next video that's coming out is going to be a Animal Well video talking about some things. Short, small Animal Well video talking about how hyped I am about it, and if you're anything like me, why you should be hyped about it as well. <laughs> and then, uh, then there's going to be another Noita video. Like an easy one, not one that I'm going to work on straight. There was a chest over here, I think, for like 17 hours straight. An easier Noita video about the unused content or the scrapped content. And then the Eldritchvania video, I need to get that out. Or I need to start that, pretty much. Finally got a good run to do the quest tonight. Nice. Yeah, Friday, baby. Hell yeah. Uh, let's just dynamite this sucker. All right. Do we have anything in here? No, of course not. Where was that chest? Did I open it? I kind of am still in autopilot mode. It's all right. Whatever. We don't need it. I think I may have opened it. 
I just realized, how do you get plastic in Noita? I know about the whole Mimisium quest. Plastic, I need to get, I would like to get some Ambrosia to help with this. Every time the shotgunner enemy shoots at you, he creates one pixel of plastic. Uh, it's this red pixel you'll see fly off the shotgunners. It's not blood, it's a pixel of red plastic. And you can collect that in a bag. And uh, we can shift bags now, powder pouches, but also then you can melt it with a little bit of lava, collect that molten plastic in a bottle, and then f and then shift that for fun and prizes. <laughs> for polluting the world with microplastics. And that's what we're going to do with Mimisium as well. <laughs> I figure, you know, plastic's a very interesting material in the game. Why not, like, I learned how to get it pretty much by doing the alchemy run. Why not mess around with it? Even if it doesn't do anything, it'll be fun. Turning the world to plastic, hopefully. We're not, we didn't set a seed here, so hopefully this one, when we get to that point, I gotta look up the seed, or the, uh, the shifts, just to see if there's like, uh, I don't know, some good shifts. That's all I'll look up, though. I don't want to look at the perks or anything else. Anyway. <clears throat> but we are not finding too much in here. One heart. Maybe I'll go get the... Ow. The, uh, ooh, that's a nice find. I don't need this whiskey. You could have that. Schmack. Like an orb. Maybe we'll get the mountain orb. But I want to, hopefully we find a teleport bolt sooner than later. Because it's like, if I don't find a teleport bolt by the snowy depths, then I'm going to get really bored and then lose the run on purpose <laughs> or whatever like that's always what happens it's like if i don't find a tele tele bolt of any kind then i'm just like man this sucks let's start another run especially on stream i get really impatient with with not having a tele bolt on stream blood to hastium noise <clears throat> All right. What do we get? Boom. It would be amazing if I ever find natural alchemic precursor or lively concoction. Never. It's been like two years since I've seen them naturally. And I've done so many thousands of runs. I just never see that stuff. Other people are like, I see it all the time. That's so weird. I'm like, yeah, I never, never see it. I don't look up the alchemy recipes, you know, to make them. But uh, still, I like, got other people are like, yeah, I always see naturally forming like Midas. Maybe not always, but fairly regularly. That or lively concoction. And for me, it's been literally like two years. Maybe longer than two years since I've seen them. Without looking it up. Like in the alchemy run, I set a seed for the alchemy run. Because that seed had all the eyes in one spot, pretty much. Yeah, it's really, really weird. Um, the, uh... Yeah, so I set that seed, and that seed happened to have easy alchemy recipes. But, uh... I looked that up, you know to get the alchemic precursor because I didn't want to do an alchemy run with a AP and LC that were impossible to get pretty much because they use, you know, lava or acid or something. After watching the world record speed run, I have no idea how the devs expected anyone to complete the game in one minute. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can get it. You can get that trophy, uh, 
with a daily practice run seed, we're not going to actually do it, a uh, daily practice run, sometimes you start really low down, and what's up, Axedone? And with Teleport Bolt or something, and it's not that difficult to go and beat the game real fast that way, and it, that counts to get that. Um, but yeah, most of the time... I swear there's got to be some kind of strange... Wow. That's very nice to get early. Damn. I'm doing well. Still a little flustered, sort of. Because I... Just... like I got home late from doing errands. And then I... Uh, immediately started stream. I gotta eat something. Have some more coffee. Yeah, anyway. So, like, I woke up. Got ready real fast and like ran around all day and then I just stepped through the door and started the stream like before I was even ready, you know? Anyway. <laughs> so I'm still like coming down from that nervousness of like, oh my god, I'm late. Ugh. Welcome back, Spidey. How was your Noita experience? Okay. We can fire that twice. Good, good, good. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you doing? Well, how did I click by accident? That was dumb. That was stupid. Got a timer as well. Maybe we'll put the timer. Just slap that on there just to... Maybe not. Yeah, we might use this as the main... This is the backup for now to do a little bit extra damage. And then maybe I'll buy this too just so we can... Rapid fire that more. And then maybe I'll buy more dynamite. Why not? Who cares? Let's get crazy. <laughs> dynamite I'll put at the end. Alright. I beat the game 100% on my first try. Nice. Damn. You should speedrun. <laughs> I guess I didn't really need that refresh, but whatever. Alright. That'll work for now. Um, Come on, do it. There we go. There we go. Alright. Get that primed and ready to go. Put a little bit of slime in that flask, turn it into normal teleportation. All we gotta do is find a, a small tele bolt, and then everything is gonna be amazing. Damn. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Let me, uh, oh yeah, I have Tinker. That's so crazy that I have Tinker already. What the hell? No, 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 no. No alchemy run. I can't do that for a little while. I guess it's, I'll probably have to start it over again very, very soon, you know? If I started one, unfortunately. It's gonna be a little while before I can do that again. It, it really did hurt. You know, to lose that. I was very into it. And not just that. Not It wasn't just that I was very into it. It was that... It was like months of work, you know? And if I did... If I started it again right now, we'd have to throw it away again pretty quickly, I'm sure. Because there's going to be some more updates. Because these... Mostly... I'm mostly positive that these secrets are not finished yet. That, uh... There's going to be some more stuff going on. Uh, 2.30. Shoddy. Here. Let's just shove these on here. This one, it's a non-shuffle, but with that chaotic path on there, I don't know if I want that. 
All right. That's our new attack wand for now. Okay. Good stuff. The game feels a lot more like a dungeon crawler than I thought it was. Yeah. Except also, you don't have to go into the dungeon right away. There's a lot to do outside of this place. But we talked about that. I told you about that. There's a lot, and they just added a lot more. Oh my god. So good. They just added, made a patch with some very interesting stuff in it. Hey. Or sh I, should I say Ali, one of the developers did. <sighs> okay. Got, let's do that. <laughs> Is it possible to roll back your version of Noita and reload that save? Yeah. I, I have it backed up still. I'm going to, because I need to... I forgot some of the things that I had in it, you know? And I still want to record footage of it for a video. For a short video now that it's, you know... Ah. Just talking about how I did some of the things I did. Like the waypoints and all that. For people who don't know that stuff. You know. Using coal meat to load in the area or keep it loaded in. Hey, you. Plant material. Hey, what was that? Shooting at me. Also, the game feels... Yes, I read that. A thinking person's dungeon crawler. Yeah. Or just balls to the wall, get splattered and splatter everything all over the place. Dungeon crawler. Yeah, you can climb the tree with mud. Or you can just learn how to tablet surf, which is... For a very long time, I ignored... I was like, whatever. But now, you know, after learning how to tablet surf, it's just like everything is very easy now to do. And that's something that I don't think they can patch. Maybe. I guess they could using like C++ be like, if you touch, if your feet touch a tablet, it removes all your levitation. Haha. Uh -huh. Damn, dude. Hang on. Hang on here. Give me some of that. Ah, uh, not the fire. All right. <laughs> 82% unstable still. You jerk. All right. Perfect. Just grab that off there. Um, yeah, we don't want that. One. Give me the slime. Mmm, tasty. Tasty slime. 97% normal. Give him some more slime. Mmm, slime. 99%. Okay, schmack. There we go. So yeah, doing that, if you find a flask of regular or unstable telly, Obviously, the instability of it teleports you randomly around. But with regular telly, you can control the direction of your teleports. So you just aim your cursor in a certain direction, and the game will try to teleport you that direction. There are some things that kind of screw it up every now and then. If they're... Oh, hi. I see what you have. Wow. This is going to be a pretty, pretty crazy run, isn't it? Look at this. Now we get all these loomies. We have mana... We, we, we're just not going to find a teleport bolt ever. And then I'm going to cry. So. Interesting. Do I have... We have multicasts too. But this is the only... Hmm. Well. Let's see. Uh, I mean, 1.78. That sucks. Take that light as well and that. 
All right, I don't want this wand. Slime turns it to normal, yes. And all you just you get a flask of unstable, just spill out one pixel of it or a few pixels of it, you know, a few percent, and then kill one of these enemies, the bats that bleed slime. Get a little bit of that slime in there and then shake it up and it'll turn to normal. Are there permanent things? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Permanent unlocks. There are. Yeah, you can unlock spells. And you unlock nightmare mode as well. <laughs> uh, let me see something. Whatever. I'm gonna keep one of these spark bolts. Sure. All right. Beautiful. Now we just need no more shuffle, or we need just whatever. So got that for digging. I guess I'll keep a dynamite. Well, we'll keep that for now because it's easy. All right. Instead of just digging with Lumi through everything slowly. Hey. What the hell's shooting at me? Speaking of, 160. 45. We'll get a better one than that. How many secrets are there? I'll say this. Uh, there are seven biomes, eight biomes, eight or eight main loop biomes. About 95% of the game is secret, you know, like there's a huge, huge amount of optional secret content. Huge, huge. It's the best secret ever. <laughs> Ask anyone. Sorry. There's a lot of secret stuff. Even secrets that most people don't, uh... We're all smart. Even secrets that a lot of people don't realize or like... Uh, like glyphs and lore stuff that most people, they don't do anything, we think. So a lot of people don't really pay attention to them who aren't interested in the lore and stuff, but... The rest of us, it's awesome. Awesome. Hey, Ruben. It's amazing. Amazing. We're going to be going up there as soon as I can find a teleportation or telebolt. We'll be heading on up to the new new areas. Um, we're getting some pretty awesome stuff early, like mana. And Lumi's always really nice to have. Schmack. And of course, this is one of the best spells you can use early game because it does a crap ton of damage and you don't have to aim. For the most part, it's a really, really good spell. Yeah, I think um, for people who get murdered in in the uh, uh, in Hisi base often, this does a little bit more damage. Like if you're going into Hisi base with a spark bolt or something, like this will do better. But you know, hey dice addict, what's up? Happy Friday. Many, many secrets, Spidey, that are counted in progress when you die. Many, many, many. Get ready to dedicate the next 10 years of your life to this game. <laughs> slime. Goodbye, Slime. Alright, cramp. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm doing well, Dice Addict. I hope you are. I hope you're all having a really good day. Okay, we got the Ambrosia. I just, I need a bag. What are we getting rid of? Water. If we have Ambrosia, we don't need water. Really? I'd prefer to be able to carry water as well, but... Decisions, decisions. Now that is what I'm looking for. Now that is the bee's knees. Oops. Uh. Yes. Indeed. All right, we'll use that as our new, well. Yo, Koopa King, thank you again. Koopa, super awesome Goku, welcome, welcome. Y-E-S, yes, yes, yes. And yeah, we got Tinker first floor. Also, Ruben called it the correct name. It is edit wands everywhere, not Tinker with wands everywhere. Fake news. <laughs> anyway. The the original the original name for it, Koopa. Thank you. Thanks again, Koopa. Thank you very, very much. Cracky, yo. Y E S. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they changed the name in 1.0 two years ago or three years ago, however long it's been. Uh yeah. Hang on, we could just probably do this. Let's see. Let's add that damage. All right, we'll do that. That'll carry us through everything we need to get carried through. Um, Now the explosion. Maybe I'll keep that. Uh, What else am I going to use? I guess we'll use this still. A couple loomies to dig. Okay. Wait, how much is this? 250. How much is the charge speed? 53. Aw, oh, man. Aw. Oh. Pickles. Just want to keep one of these. We don't really need this wand at all anymore. Oh, we'll use that. That to dig with. Yo. Koopa. Spidey. Welcome, Spidey. Y Koopa, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. When you played OG Noita so much, you don't even know the new names. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um. All right. Jeez. Sheesh. Uh, I mean, we could just do this. Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay. I think we're good to go. <laughs> Uh, might as well do that. Jeez. We're finding so much good stuff that I'm like, something's got to give. <laughs> and it's going to be like, we don't find a Tully Bolt until Temple of the Art or something. Yeah. Gatling gun. Yeah. Popcorn. I like to call it popcorn run or popcorn wand. It's electric up there. Fungus. And we could dig with it too. Because we are not running out of mana. Yo! Ah. Oh my god, Koopa. Thank you again. Thank you. Fallout Patriot, welcome. Yes, yes, yes! Y E S, <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Get out of my way, Pixels. See, I knew there was a wand up there. What the hell? Get, stop getting stuck. Oh my god, what the hell? What is going on with this? Okay, sure. Sure. I'll take that as well. 
Schmack. I don't know why I'm keeping this one, just because it's not shuffle, I guess. Jeez. Keep that electric charge as well. Man, I'm not going to keep all these mists, but... That's crazy. Now we got another slot on here, huh? So, I mean, we could... Let me see. Hang on. We can keep it like that, or we can use a trigger. And what are we going to trigger? What do we care about triggering this with a podcast? I like the popcorn. We'll keep popcorn for now. Noise. All right. Sheesh. What is going on? Uh, that's our main one now. This one will be 380. Uh, this will be our digging wand. Maybe our teleport wand at some point, possibly. And... Shields. With light. Light shields. All right. Damn. Got all these projectiles. Got some explosions. I guess I'll put that on there. All right. Keep that. Modifiers on that side pretty much. Boom. Projectiles. Lumi. All right. Sweetness. I played Rain World before. It's a nice game. It's, I consider Rain World to be, like Noita, one of the greatest games ever made. An absolute masterpiece. Ugh, I want these broken wands. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't want to waste all that. We need to get a bag, an empty, an empty powder pouch, or just a powder pouch. What the? Dude. Three per cast, too. Holy snikes. All right. Well, that'll be our teleport wand if I find the teleport bolt. Please. Yes, it's getting the night cat at last. And, and... This Rain World DLC... The original developers worked on it. Downpour was only made by modders who, uh, like, uh, they turned some mods official and, and created a DLC out of it. But, uh, I love Downpour, but there are people who don't because it changes the way that, changes some things about the way that, uh, Rain World felt before that. Um, but yeah, like, the original developers working on it. It's pretty, pretty hype. Pretty hype. <laughs> this DLC is heavily aided by modders too. It is, it is. That's true. Yeah. That's not what I meant, really. I meant just like that the original developers worked on it as well. Um... So their, their flavor will shine through too. Because the, uh, the coral cave is going to be in it. All right. Pete. For Pete's sake. Ow. I wasn't looking. All but two of the preview images are from mods. Yeah, I know, I know. But that's not really what I meant. I just don't know how to talk. <laughs> Basically just meant that it's exciting. Very exciting for the original developers to work on it. It's like the difference between, you know, a Noit to DLC, just having work from modders like Keith. 
like uh, Archaeopteryx who made like new enemies and bosses and stuff like that. And then Kanga make, making Apotheosis and then kind of legitimizing that, you know, like making those official in a way or some of that content, but only them. And then and then the next DLC being made with Nala working on it as well. I'm like, yo. Anyway. Uh, craziness. Do, 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 do. Three hundred ninety-eight charge. Oh, here, let's use this as our. Do we even? Hang on. What's that spread? Oh, I didn't notice the thirty degrees of spread. I guess that's okay for a digging wand, but or whatever. It's that for now. Uh. Schmick. I guess because of the special abilities, people don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that might be one reason for some of them. But uh, also, like the new, it looks like the Night Cat is going to have a cloaking ability or a camouflage ability, like a white lizard or something, just based on the animation, the trailer, how you have the Night Cat in the back or the Watcher, he's being called. It's being called. And then it kind of, you see its eyes appear and then it appears from the darkness. So I think probably the night cat is going to have the ability to cloak or uh, camouflage itself. But I think for the most part, I think that might just be like just a little ability just to ha have another extra ability that's not going to be super important. I hope. Uh, but I think for this DLC, it would seem, based on the uh, the description and everything, that it's gonna focus is gonna be on the environment very much, and not on like the slug cat's ability or whatever. Because it sounds like it's gonna be either a long time later, or maybe between, like near Saint, like near the end of the timeline but also in a different area, like not in the same grounds, like around five pebbles and moon in the same facility. It looked because on the one hand, it sounds like things have evolved, but on the other hand, it sounds like there's completely new creatures and stuff, the unfamiliar. So I don't know. It's very exciting. It immediately is like one of the most, one of the most hype things for me, or one of the gaming, one of the games I'm most excited about. There's like, there's not that many anymore. You know, I used to get so excited about so many different games, but now I'm very picky, I guess, you know, after playing really, really good games, I'm just like, I don't want to spend my time playing AAA stuff most of the time now. I, I bought Dragon's Dogma 2, but I played it for 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm, I am I want to play it again. It was fun. It is fun. I'm not going to, you know, like, I don't care about the whole DLC thing. Like, on the one hand, yeah, you shouldn't really support that by buying the game or whatever. But on the other hand, it's a good game. And I don't want to... I'm supporting the developers, not the business people, but... You know, whatever. I think that there's going to be a video game crash anyway. I think that a lot of AAA companies are going to go out of business. I think we've already been seeing that a lot. And like, that's why, that's why everything, there's all this predatory stuff going on in AAA gaming is because the few, 
a lot of a lot of AAA companies don't make enough money to operate anymore, and then they get scooped up by extremely greedy parent companies that are like, and you know, they have like a gigantic overhead now. It's like technology has increased to a point where like, I, I think it just requires so many people now to, I mean, oh, it has for a long time, but AAA games, they have so many people to pay on the team and all that, that like, they don't yet know how to, besides making good video game. And, you know, you can argue that that's all you need like Elden Ring, like from software, is AAA and they just make good games and people love them and buy them and vote for them game of the year, you know? It's like, why can't other AAA companies do this? Uh, Cause a lot of them are owned by the same like umbrella corporations that are just extremely greedy and have stupid ideas and have never played a video game or run by people who have never played a video game in their life and are just no idea at all. Uh, I guess we don't need that. Anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, let me scroll up. Simne Simneva. First time watching the stream and already loving it. Many thanks for all that info you're giving on your choices. Eh. You're welcome and welcome. You're welcome and welcome. Appreciate it. Can someone answer my ingestion question? Ingestion question? Eating stuff in Noita? Oh yeah. Try experiment. Eat everything. <laughs> There's only one way to learn. Just put everything in your mouth. You can't do it in real life. Do it in the video game. Uh, speaking of which. Mm. <laughs> and may I point out again. Still no tele telebolt. <laughs> um, yeah. Fair enough, Caden. Fair enough. <laughs> Jeez. Fair enough. I guess I don't really need this pheromone. Ah. but I would like to hold on to it. If I find a bag, I'll dump probably the tablet. I don't think we really need the tablet anymore at this point. Well, hopefully I don't need the tablet surf between the temples to do all that stuff up there. <laughs> I should probably not jinx myself. All right, that's nice, but do I want that right now? We don't need that right now. We're good. Oh, what wand? I guess I didn't pick up. I dropped one of my wands for this and I forgot to pick it up. Oh, well, I don't think I really lost anything. Just looking for hearts now in here. Otherwise, I'd probably go down. Eh. Two hundred and ten max mana. That's not a lot, but it's at least we got. At least we found some hearts. We're gonna be uh, doing all the stuff up above, so. We'll get a form of healing from that. I do have a trigger. We need to make sure... Yeah, I could use that one. We need a non-shuffle wand that has enough mana for the touch-ofs and everything. 
They shouldn't be more rare, no. They should not. In fact, they should be more common. It just, de it's dependent on the seed. Some seeds have tons of hearts all over the place. Some seeds have almost nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna replace that. Like, there are some seeds where you'll have over 210 HP just in the mines. You can get a bunch of hearts in the mines, just explore in there and then, all right. Just... Kind of afraid of spoiling Noita mechanics to myself, so how careful should I be if I look up stuff? I mean, mechanics, I think are okay to look up. In fact, some people might just recommend looking it up. Uh, not. All right, I'll take this. I do like faster movement. Fire immunity is nice too, but I don't like oil blood. So, with a trigger, we don't need this on there. Just have a that on there. In fact, what the? Ah, uh, stupid keyboard, stupid fingers. Well, I gotta scoop some of that up again. Nice. Hang on. Uh, also, let me check if. Turn that on. Okay. I was just like, I had my hand off my keyboard and I just put it down. It was just like right on that key. Stupid. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. Um, so... Well, I'm not using a trigger right now. I'm gonna throw that away. Regular spark bolt, I'm not gonna keep anymore. We do have this. Let's see. If I had any kind of homing, we'd make uh, something with, like, mist or notes. I guess for now, I could just... Keep this stuff on there. Um, what did I have on here now? I forgot already. <laughs> Was it... What the hell? Hang on. Do, 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 do. Hey, Lil Fuwa. Thank you. Lurk away. Lurk away. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, Spidey. Experiment. Try to experiment a lot with wands in the early game. You're going to die and kill yourself probably a lot. Uh, but if you find any of this stuff, this is ambrosia. When you're in, when you're stained with this stuff, you can't drink it. Well, I don't want to, I don't know. But you're protected from all damage while you're stained with this. And, you know, it helps to not kill yourself constantly when you're sitting here experimenting. But, uh... If you're getting impatient with... I think it would help to learn as much about wand crafting, the basics, as early as possible. Uh, I'm just going to show this out. I don't remember what I had there. Fall out. Enjoy working on your game. Um, and I'm hoping that, yeah, everything's good with your computer. Do do. Hey, buzzer. What's up? Mm hmm. I don't know. Wand wrapping was a thing for modifiers until I read up on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think. A lot of the very useful things like that, you're not going to really learn on your own. I'm not going to use that. Keep one of those up there. All right. Um, I don't even know. We're only using one wand right now. I don't even care about looking at the rest of this. Uh, I'm going to buy this just so we have some plasma. The rest of it, I'm going to stick in the ceiling right here. 
just in case I need to go and find it again. Got a bunch of triggers. As long as I have a timer and a trigger, I'm happy. Uh, sure, I'll grab that. This, we only need a little bit of it anyway. Right. So I did that so I wouldn't collapse the holy mountain. But you gotta be careful teleporting out like that because you could teleport right in the middle of a bunch of Hisi or something, a bunch of enemies, and just take a ton of damage immediately. Yeah, let's uh, put our focus on finding a flask. Mm hmm. Or two flasks, at least. You know, I might, I might rush down just to go to the eye room, so I can get rid of this telly because that's pretty much the only reason why I have it at the moment. We can dig. Eh. Clits forty seven. Welcome. Thank you. Y e s. Yes. 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 Thanks for the prime sub. I was like, where's my wand? It's all blackened. We got a deep fried wand. I thought I heard something just then. It sounded like I heard all seeing eye. <clears throat> Hang on. Big fan of your YouTube account. Didn't know you streamed. Hey, Pop Leo. Yeah, I've been streaming for five years. I need to probably mention that more in videos, huh? <laughs> I've been meaning to. I have this, I have a whiteboard over here on my wall with like video notes and uh, drawings on it and stuff. Alchemic drawings and all kinds of crazy things. Just secret codes. Because I put secret codes in my videos. <laughs> um, and one of the things I have written down on that whiteboard says mention Twitch and your other YouTube channel in your next Noita video. <laughs> and I forgot. I've been meaning to like be like, hey, yeah, I stream, so here. And yeah, I have another YouTube channel here with the VODs. And I'm going to be uploading like just unique content to that channel as well. Besides just VODs. I kind of already have a little bit here and there. But, and then I'm starting, I'm pretty fired up right now because yesterday or like lately I started working on music again after like 10 years of not working on music before, before gaming content creation, I started 10 years ago making videos, um, before gaming content creation, I, music was my life. In all, in all different forms, you know, I DJ'd and was in bands and stuff. And I worked at concert venues and blah, blah, blah. And then now I have a completely different life, which is cool. But I miss making music. And then I started after so long, I started working on music again. So now I have like one track that's almost finished. Two other tracks that are, that I began. And uh, where'd my tablet go? And I'm pretty fired up about that. Uh, but yeah. And I'm going to have a, a, a YouTube channel just for my music, too, at some point. Where'd the tablet go? Did it really roll, like, all the way? Where the? It's like the meatball that just rolled off the plate and is in another town or something. Meow. I've been playing the drums since I was like five. Uh, and, oh, there's my tablet. Just a bit of it, a little piece. There it is. <laughs> How'd that happen? Boom. I play keyboards. I've been playing keys for a long time as well. 
probably since I was like 15. Keyboards. Let's drink all this. Uh, not really EDM. I make really weird electronic stuff, but I'm the the new EP. I'm gonna try to release an EP or a full record this year. That's the goal. Uh, you punk. It's going to be uh, like synthwave mixed with m more of a weird synthy flavor, like weird, uh, like Doppler effect style kind of synth worship, but in a sound design synth worship type of thing. Like, anyway, I can't really explain it. Ninja Tune vibe? I, I don't know Ninja Tune. Like Drexia. Doppler effect. Mixed with synthwave stuff. But, and noisy stuff too. Like I, I used to make a lot of noise music. Uh, I never did solo. It wasn't really my thing solo, but like I worked with a lot of people or a few people who one of them owned a, a record label, one of my friends, uh, met him through like a, working together at a, like a goth industrial club pretty much. And he had like a noise record label and he just put out just like harsh noise and stuff. And I worked with him often because we were really good friends. Um, and we made like a noise rock band and uh, got kicked out of a few concerts. Like, we we went to play this one show and it was in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know, we were invited to play because a few friends of ours worked there, I think, or a few friends of his. And, uh, and they were like, they had some big party and then they invited us to play. And then, like, the bartender, we got there, and we loaded out, set up all our gear, whatever. I just had a floor tom and a snare, and also a sampler. And then, uh, the bartender was like, So, what kind of music do you guys make? And then Travis, the, the leader, pretty much, the record label guy, he was like, You're not gonna like it. <laughs> And she's like, oh, I'm, I like music. I like a lot of different kinds of music. He's like, no, you're probably not going to like this. <laughs> and sure enough, <laughs> we didn't get to finish. Too noisy, too loud. <laughs> so I try to mix all these different things together, I guess. Um, All right, hang on. Well, let's just go this way. Uh, Yeah, 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 that's what I wanted to do. Hang on, let me look at other chat. What's up, Powerhouse, by the way? <laughs> How you doing? Hope you're having a good one. Uh, Yeep. Me, I, Pally with the respawn. Play with the respawn mode for, for Lear biome. What? <laughs> Later biomes? Um... Why do the big eye acid spitting things spawn near the tree once you get any tablet? It's not when you get a tablet. Uh, the big acid guys spawn when you get too far out from the tree. They'll spawn. But you can avoid them entirely by sticking to the tree. If you're trying to climb the tree, stay as close as possible to it. Uh, well, especially if you're trying to climb it. But if you're teleporting over it. Or, you know, using levitatium that liquid or anything. Uh, try to stay as close as possible to the tree. That'll avoid them. And then on the way back, just teleport. They'll be down on the ground if you trigger them on the way up and you don't actually, they don't actually see you. They'll be down at the ground. So you can just tap levitate slowly over them and then kind of like to, to avoid them. And you don't ever have to worry about them. Or, you know, you could just kill them. <laughs> I 
Bla 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 bla. I'm not gonna. I don't need the red glimmer on the main wand. That's why I took it off. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't need it on there. Not at all. That is why it is not on there. FTL, what's up? I know a dude named Travis that used to be in a band and owns a record store. Nice. Does he live in Tennessee? I think, I think he lives in Tennessee now. I haven't talked to him in a while. Pretty much. Most of my, like, old friends and acquaintances, it's like, I pretty much started a new life. Uh, when I started gaming content creation, it's basically, that's what I was going to do. Forgot. I, uh, yeah, I don't really talk to a whole lot of the same people anymore. Mainly because I am very, very busy all the time, or I, I keep myself very busy by working on a lot of stuff constantly, and I just, like, never go outside. <laughs> nah. Alright, so the broken spell we can't carry right now. Let's go get the Ambrosia before I forget. But I've been running into a few of these people again because I've been picking up shifts again at concert venues on the weekends, weekend nights. I'm starting to work again. Ah. He lives in Western North Carolina. Hmm. Pretty close. You do, and that's all I'll say. You do... Oh. Talking to... Spidey. Oh! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeep, but you have low percent. Low percent what? Talking to... You talking to me? Can all things be polymorphed? <laughs> Good old polymorph. All right. Just need a little bit of this. I need the ambrosia mainly for collecting plastic, but we need a bag too first. Powder pouch. <clears throat> That's plenty. Ephistus, hello. First victory. GG. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Collecting plastic with your face? Exactly. With my body. <clears throat> any of you guys who wear glass any of you people who wear glasses uh and who maybe remember getting glasses for the first time or like remember when you when you were like when you realized you needed glasses um did you have a thing with like things looked closer I don't know. Like, I can see really well, but I keep sitting here. This happens more and more often now, where I feel like I'm too close to my monitor. Like, things are not blurry or anything. It's just, like, I feel like I need to sit back here. Not, vi It's not really vision, really. I don't know. It's weird. I have this weird feeling, like, maybe I moved my monitor up higher so it could be that but i did that a while ago now or like 
two months ago, month and a half. Because <clears throat> it just feels like I feel uncomfortable sitting here because I feel like I have to like I'm craning my neck backwards a little bit because I feel like I'm like too close. And it like throws me off sometimes playing Noita. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not unfocused. I can see really, really well still. Like, far away, everything. Like, my vision seems like... I get eye strain. You know, I should probably get glasses for, like, that. Because I stare at a monitor. Like, you know, making that video, the last video. I I started that at night. The, the night that the patch came out. And then stayed up till 6 a.m., kind of like researching mostly, not really recording, but mostly researching and doing, playing legit in-game, you know, first. And then the next day I worked on that video for 17 hours straight, just like staring at the monitor, just 17 hours all day. Took a break to grab some food or whatever, but yeah, from, from 11 a.m., 10 a.m. till 4 a.m., just basically and and that's why I didn't that's one of the reasons why I didn't stream yesterday is uh, you know on that day when was that what day was that Tuesday or Wednesday my let's let's go my AC has been broken it was fixed yesterday at last uh, yo oh my god yes it's not a small one but it's fine. It'll do. All right. 547, 878. All right. Show. Sure. <laughs> good stuff. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. We're not using trigger. I'll keep that on there. Um, We don't really need to dig too much with that, right? Well, we kind of do. Eh. I'm just going to keep this like this for now. Or actually, we don't need that on there. Um, I mean, I could always just... When I go to dig, we can just do this. That'll be fine. All right. For now, we just keep that on there like that. And we have this, but... I room first. And then... Uh... Yeah. 17 hours straight, my body can't do that. Mine... I don't know. I don't do it all the time anymore. But, yeah, I'm still kind of feeling a little bit of that. Just a really, really long, all-day work session. Grind. But that's how it is with content creation sometimes. It's like... Sometimes there's a, there's a massive grind you gotta do, and... It's just because videos can take a very, very long time to make. So if I just keep putting something down, it, that video could have taken till next week to make, you know? So it's like if I get really into it, then I, I try to just knock it all out in one day sometimes. And I could have I could have adjusted the audio in that video. Could have like fine tuned my mic a little bit. Uh, I could have... There's a few different things I could have done. I forgot to mention one little thing. So, not really little, but... I was gonna mention the... The Labyrinth. Which, if you haven't heard of this... I guess I'll show this real quick. Uh... Blah, blah, blah. Where is this? Uh... Video, video. Why do I have so many video? I think it was supposed to be here. Yeah. Um... The Noita Labyrinth. So, this is just some strange little structure here. It's probably not supposed to be made out of these materials, maybe. Um, 
But when the last patch came out, there was a folder in the data for the in the biome area called Labyrinth. And then there was like a Labyrinth biome. But people and modders were like looking into it and it didn't actually spawn, they think. Uh, but somebody forced the game to generate part of it and that was part of it. That little structure I just showed, the GIF. Uh, and then in yes, in the other... The next day in that patch, it was removed or hidden. And so there might be something by the end of this big secret. Currently, like the current uh, the or theory or whatever is that the the hidden. Oh, and I still have my I forgot. I still have my. Uh, yeah, that's why the game looks a little bit different, too. So I still have these the gamma all the way down there and everything. All right. The the hidden glyphs that appear, that doesn't seem to be finished yet. Um, and then RV popped up on the Discord yesterday saying like, yeah, Ali's away for the weekend. So if anything happens, like he just wants everyone to know he'll he'll fix it or do this on Monday. Uh, so but we don't think that that's finished yet, but it may eventually lead to something called the Labyrinth which might be like some secret biome that like kind of might spawn in the EDR someplace, maybe deep underground, completely randomly through the engine, maybe like the cauldron room, but an entire biome, maybe like some secret thing, some secret kind of mini biome. Anyway, but I was going to mention that in the video and I forgot because I was by the end, by the last like two hours of working on that, I was pretty done. I was like, you know what? I don't care anymore. Let's just get this video finished and get it out. We're getting some... Well, okay, I can't complain about the perks. I don't want glass cannon right now. I'm gonna have to reroll again. Uh, Whoops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, well. Okay. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I'll read more chat in a moment. Let me just go down here. I'm not going to really clear the biome, I think, right now. I just want to go to the eye room. And then we're going to head up to the new stuff. Blood. We need enough gold so that we can reroll. I need like 1,600. I'm not going to worry about breaking rerolls or anything like that. It's probably not that type of run. And then we're going to go to Overgrown, I think, probably. I need to get a bag or a powder pouch. And then we can start shifting. Or I can get the plastic and then shift. Mwahaha. Plastic. Remember to always take... Ow! Remember to not kill yourself like that. Here, buddy. That goes for you, too. Don't set yourself on fire. No. Alright. You're, you're awfully close to that fire. <laughs> Hello. There you go. I got a perk that gave me a flying companion and I left the dungeon and somehow climbed the mountain. Ended up in the pyramid and I started the boss fight, but the companion was dealing huge damage to the boss on its own, but I died. Yeah, you got the uh, homunculus, maybe. Have a beer, take a nap. Hmm. Uh, Alice. Why do you so obsessed with Noita? What keeps you from leave this game? Something that you personally love in the game so much that keeps you in? I, IRL, am really into hermeticism, alchemy, uh, witches, witchcraft, and 
occult stuff and philosophy as well. Like, I'm really into all that. So a game that has all that. And I really love video games in a way that is hard to explain sometimes. Like, I like video games as art, but I also, that extends down to, like, the the minutiae, like the pixels, like the fact that this game has, I think this game is beautiful and I like the, it's like a symphony of destruction. It's like a symphony of chaos and beauty and the, the technology of this game, the, the engine, the, the fact that every single pixel, even the even when I'm shooting right here, they all have properties, all physical properties in a way. And everything in the game is composed of something like, you know, these these particles are an actual material in the game that you can't typically obtain. But if you do in a rare potion chest or something, you can shift it and then change the color of them and stuff. I don't know. There's there's a lot of reasons, but I don't in, I don't like this game as just a video game. It's not that anymore for me. The first year maybe this game was a video game for me, but for the last three years, it's something completely different. And not just because I'm a content creator, but I enjoy like the the lore. I enjoy the world of this game let me not break that a lot of there's a lot of reasons but yeah that would be why what some of the reasons why favorite philosopher i don't really have a favorite philosopher uh but oh hey okay. that's nice that's nice we also got sheepies huh a little transmog. We got this. All right, let's see here. What do I want? Uh, we're going to slap this on here. We're going to slap. Whoops. Oh, wait, we don't want it on there. A little bit of that. We're going to do a little bit of this. Combined with. All right, perfect. So now we got a better digging wand. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really into alchemy and philosophy, and uh, I studied philosophy in college, Eastern and Western philosophy, from Taoism and Confucianism to Darwinism to Plato, Socrates, Descartes, all the classics. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. If I had a bigger wand, I'd do something else with this. But I'll work for now. Um, maybe I'll get this too. And then this probably won't use at the moment, but I might as well pick it up. <clears throat> Hey, Pfizer Vivo. How you doing? Welcome. I'm doing well. I don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs besides dice. Yep. It's the way to be. I didn't drink for... For a good five years, I didn't have, drink anything. Because I used to drink a lot, working concert venues and bars and everything for a long time. Uh, And I just kind of... You know, I think I talked to Axodome about this already, or talked on stream about this. Never really considered myself to be like an alcoholic or anything like that, but I used to drink a lot because it was just, it went with the territory, you know, working in those places. What's up, Marisa? Hope you're having a nice day. And then I just kind of got older and just didn't care anymore about that. But now, like, I'll, I just bought beer at the store and I have, uh, you know, every now and then one beer one tall boy but i get good beer right you know and the only reason why i get it is because not to 
not for the buzz or anything like that anymore just because i enjoy the taste of like ipas and stuff i like beer so yeah so it's like a little treat it's just like just like getting pizza or something i consider pizza to be like a treat it's not really good for you or anything but i love it you know and pe and beer is kind of the same thing it's like ooh, a little treat when i play D D. I'll have a beer on Tuesday nights or whatever, hang out with friends, play some D&D, &D, and crack open a beer, you know? Yeah, session IPA. Mm. How do you like the cessation spell? I have not really messed around with it in a wand building context quite yet, but I do love it. I love that there are other ways to defeat the new boss, but, uh, like extra lives. But I like just increasing the lifetime of cessation or permanently increase. <laughs> and then using that to defeat the boss. I think it's really unique. All the new stuff, I think, added a lot to the game. Because it was made by Ali. And Ali knows how to program in C. And. You know, I love all, everything in this game, but like having these extra functions now, it's like, ooh, feels like it's really, it's unique. And I like the, the otherworldly feel of it with all the new music and everything. It's good stuff. All right. Oh, I can't even reroll. I need more gold. Let's get the gold and then... All right. Whoa, whoa. Come over here. All right. Uh... All right. Whoops. Ah. Uh, got too close to me. Too deadly. Uh-oh, buddy. You, you might die, too. Don't go over there. It's fire. Pop, pop, pop. Explode. <laughs> Free infinite chest strain. Does it work? Because I know they patched it so that it doesn't work for... Um, perk duping. That's cool, then. Yeah. Not infinite chest strain. Infinite... Infinite... Uh, potion mimic rain is way more important. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. Hopefully uh, that doesn't get patched. Also, something that I discovered yesterday. Uh, I don't know. It's, this is probably known outside of this, but if you're holding one of the potion mimics, yes, it makes you a target for homing and stuff like that. But more importantly, let me just mute that real quick. Holding a potion mimic, or just having it in your inventory, makes it so that these guys... I discovered this by going into the lake bunker. Uh, where are these... nerds? These guys, you know how they have the... They produce an aura of invincibility for any enemies that are nearby? Well, it just so happens that when you're holding a potion mimic, these guys make you invincible. <laughs> no, no. I'm waiting for that. I'm not. We're not messing around with that. I want to maybe find it just naturally some year. So, yeah. These guys spawn in the alchemy lab. This is probably going to get patched somehow. Uh, yeah, you might be able to. Especially if you drag it there with like a homebringer or something. You could do that. But the alchemist boss. These guys spawn right near the alchemist. You could just drag one over there. It makes you invincible and just kill the alchemist with whatever the hell you want. As long as this thing doesn't die, you're good. You know? So yeah, just having, being around one of these makes you invincible when you're holding a potion mimic. But I think that that's probably going to get patched. Somehow. It seems like, you know, it seems like that's a little bit unintended. Could have died right there. Glad I didn't die. Where's my pinky friend? No 
here. We gotta actually collect the gold. Ow. <clears throat> I would take glass cannon. I love glass cannon, but I don't... I don't trust myself right now with it in a slower run. Not that I'm, like, tired, tired, but I'm... I'm not feeling 100% right now. I'm a little, little out of it. Mostly because I haven't streamed since last week, I think. So the chances of me just noitaing myself with glass cannon are pretty high when I'm just like not paying attention, just looking at chat. Cloud Million, hello. Hope you're having a good one. Has anyone waited for a super long time after casting reduced lifetime cessation? I don't know yet. Uh, I will. Maybe we'll do that. Whoops. <laughs> it would have been nice to not break that. Well, let's just go. I can heal a different way. We don't we don't need to heal with the Oh, I'm still waiting for 15 gold. Pretty much. Jeez, takes way too long. Let me ignore you guys for a minute. <laughs> Spending way much, way too long just chatting right now. Jeez, guys, come on. <laughs> I just need one, one brave hisi. Oh. Look at that, we got some molten metal. No nugget. All right, let me look for what this flask is. Or look at it. It's Flamuxium, it's not Ambrosia, you die. Uh-huh. All right. I want lower HP right now anyway, because I want to kind of... I don't want to be dead, but I want... I want to have to heal in a different way. Oh, wait, I need to get in there. Oops. Whoopsie. Um, yeah. I want that. Is there... Eh. I'm not grabbing that either. Um, alright. I'll take a shield. Thank you. Alright. Let's just get on up. Hey, hey, hey. Get on up. Alright. Just got back from Helldivers 2. Realize we are getting flanked by the Clancers automatons, but I am so tired. So watching you to get a little bit of rest. Oh, rip. <laughs> I didn't know their names, but yeah, Helldivers 2. I need to play that again, too. I got a bunch of friends who play it, and I like it, but it's been a while. I haven't even played it since... The patch that added, like, the fire tornadoes and all that. I've heard it's really, like, that added a lot to the game. I do like Starship Troopers a lot, too. In fact, I watched Starship Troopers after playing a bunch of Helldivers, too. Because it got me in the, the Starship Troopers mood. Um, alright. So... Let's just go. We're going to go through the whole thing, kind of. I want to... Even though I don't have to go to the watchtower... Let me grab this. I want to go to the watchtower. Because I want to kind of... Even though there's no... Uh, I already know what to do with this quest and everything. I don't need the hint anymore that's at the watchtower. Which seems strange that that place exists just... That whole place exists just 
for a hint, and I don't think it does. I think that it's just not finished yet, maybe because of the down arrow. Yeah, I don't care about gold right now. It's only 25 gold or whatever, 50 or whatever. Doesn't matter. We can go to the gold room and get 125,000. Uh, not, not concerned about money or health or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think the watchtower is going to have, either it already does, and we just don't know it yet, or haven't realized it yet, or it's going to have like a liquid puzzle there. Just by the, the design of that place, it looks like you want to flow liquid from the top to the bottom. So... And there's no enemies that spawn in here yet. There might be. All right, so that's shaped like an, a downwards pointing arrow. And then, see this time it generated without anything. So I guess it just has a chance to, okay. Last night, I, I was doing a run last night, just like a, just a run through all this stuff again um, on my own time, you know? And this, the watchtower spawned with you know the new signs with the arrows on them on the temples on the temple roofs one of them spawned here it didn't have an arrow on it but it had three dots on it but it spawned like right on this side here and i was like hmm or generated right on the side and i was like that's interesting and it kind of blocks this path over here and then ev on every uh hall in every hallway here there was at least one rock that spawned that I could move around. And I was like, that's interesting. So do you have to use the rocks to block? Like I used a tablet here to block this window. Uh, and I used rocks to block the flow of lava so that it would only go down like from up there. And I kind of directed the flow of lava so that it went, then almost all of it went all the way down and then down to here. I was like, do you have to get like a certain amount of lava down there and then it triggers something or whatever? Lava to blood arrow. Yeah. Yeah, there might be. I mean, I'm sure that we've looked at it and there's like not a liquid trigger or anything like that. But these little rocks, these, these bricks or whatever, this whole place, every, every uh, hallway had at least one of them in it. And it was like, it stood out to me. And I'm like, that's really cool. It looks like it wants me to direct the flow. Direct the flow. But, uh, would be cool if it's just not implemented yet. So yeah, this. This spawned all the way down at the bottom. Or generated. Um. I think having some kind of liquid flow puzzle would be pretty amazing with this place. Uh, clankers. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Clankers. Hey, Bronwyn. It would be cool to see this again since Argon lost the background when I was watching his attempt. Ugh. Like he crashed and it vanished. That sucks. Well, we're going to do it slow. And I don't want to put on... We're going to use in-game music because the in-game music is so good. I love it. And this new music especially, you know. How would you rate this quest compared to the other quests? I don't know. I really... I love it because I'm a musician. And I like the alien mystery feel that all that it all has it has a really really cool feel and since it was made by ollie he could do things that that hempuli couldn't do with coding uh and so he made it so that when you pick up the the flask mimic it the music changes just by picking that up there are different triggers like that that haven't existed in this game since this quest so it's really, really cool. I just like how how weird and otherworldly and 
mysterious it all feels. Especially the end of, you know, all the hidden glyphs everywhere. It's very interesting. I like, there are a lot of people who don't like that type of thing. I love it more than anything in the entire world. I'm sad that up until this point, there hasn't been any kind of ARG type of stuff in this game. I love ARGs. I love puzzles in games that are, ow, maybe more uh, community centric. Not that the eyes aren't like including the eyes, but I like games that have like a different variety of weird secrets and stuff going on. It's literally my favorite thing in gaming. So, you know, um, yeah, let's maybe uh, do I have any way to yeah, let's use this. Let's use that. Yeah. Just notice a pattern in me playing Noita. Every time I get infinite healing, I get reckless and die. Anyone else have that problem? It happens. Yeah. The hubris. You're like, I am a god. I can heal everything. And then you just teleport into a into a propane tank or you teleport into like a wire hanging in Hisi base and you get electrocuted. Whoops. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to heal right now because I want to use the the divine liquid to heal. <laughs> oh, man. The fallen and falling everything engine can have liquid triggers outside of entities. It could, especially with him, with Ali, like, yeah. Like adding new things to the game like that that haven't existed already, like entirely new functions and stuff. Well, I should have maybe healed. That's all right. It's got a... When I stream, especially, I do really stupid things like that. Flavor, flav. Okay. So you can... I can just make out some of the glyphs, but I'm sure you guys can't see it. That's all I wanted to do here. Can the exits be fully blocked in order to fully fill the tower? I mean, not easily. I don't know. With the amount of rocks that are in there. The thing is, the bottom of the towers doesn't have walls. There's a bunch of sand blocking it, and the lava immediately uh, dissolves the sand. It would be cool if lava and sand made glass. If we can make like molten glass and then harden it into regular glass using that. I just want it like every reaction they could possibly add in the game, including allowing us to mine uranium and make our own explosives. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right. Where's the fish? <gasps> no fi oh, fish. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Talon, I'm going to do a new one, but not yet. I got to wait until I know another update's not coming to break it again. Ah. Can you guys see any of the glyphs? You can barely see them, but they're there. I wonder if that's going to be kind of changed again to make them stand out a little more. Because it's like with the with this puzzle, it's like you have to data mine the images and manipulate it in a 
like in Photoshop or something to really see everything. For now, at least. Yeah. The music is so good. <clears throat> so good. But yeah, I can't start the next alchemy run yet. Um, just because I don't, you know, the game's probably going to update again soon. So we got to wait. I just love everything about this. I like that he added a uh, little hidden pool of pheromone here. You could hear it through the wall, you know, if you listen to it, if you know what to listen for. So even if you don't have all-seeing eye, you can kind of, you can tell there's some kind of magical liquid there. And then the beer and the milk. <laughs> like, everything about this is like... I like how different it is. Yeah, the Kulu Kiwi. That's right. Mm. So I never really bother picking that item up anymore. Because that's another thing that I want to suggest. If I ever get a chance to, like, talk to the developers. I've emailed them to see if I can. Uh, there are a few little suggestions that I don't know I feel weird doing that though like I have questions I want to interview them I have questions that I want to see if they'll answer um, nothing like the eyes in the cauldron blah 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 wouldn't ask them that but uh Questions about the development, mostly. And then also some lore stuff, if they're willing to say anything at all about that. Any of it. Um, but also... Uh... we It would be cool if the cool... Like, okay, like the flask mimic functions just by being in your inventory because it's an enemy basically that you have in your inventory but uh or it's creature it's a you're the parent it's a child of your and anyway it would be cool if holding the kula kiwi in any slot without selecting it worked like an mp3 player or something or worked did its function just by having it in your inventory yeah, it's not a mod. This is vanilla. If you don't want to get spoiled, we're about to run through the whole thing, so... Just keep that in mind. I'm going to spoil literally everything. Get that crappy non-mimic flask out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoops, you didn't see that. What's this stuff? Of oh, that's nothing. Why did you kill my friend? <laughs> Ah, it's so good. Love it. Little squeaky boy. Adept's note. Those who attain the fruit of the house above the triadic tomb shall hold this truth. The holiest ground is most fertile when touched by our water. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't tried Touch of Gold on it. I've, like, I did a run last night, but I haven't really done much experimenting with the stuff yet. Not yet. I don't want to hear all the spoilers, but I'm very resigned to ever getting this in Master. I know. Yeah. Like, at this point, especially since they pushed the, uh, all this, the beta to GOG as well. I feel like uh, 
It might be a really long time before any of this stuff is on master branch. Public branch, whatever. Main branch. They made it easier. Or he made it easier to... Now you shouldn't have to kick them at all. Very easy now. They just, just a few pixels need to touch them, basically. That's good. Because some people were getting, like, this quest was breaking for them because they picked up these mimics or whatever. I think that you can... You might be able to pick them up now without breaking it, too, I hope. Stop. Don't. Don't come down here. Stay up there. Don't. Don't throw away your life. You, though, stinky. You take a bath. Evasia, hello. Since the dev translations were merged with the main file, my guess is that we are mainly going to get a lot of bug fixes in the next while. Okay. Nice. So maybe I will start my... Well... I think there might be another patch, possibly. I'm going to wait a little while. Because it seems like some of the stuff, it seems like maybe it's not finished yet. Potentially. The, uh, the end of this. But maybe we're just dumb. Okay, we already got them all. Oh. Maybe we're just dumb. <laughs> Alright, now... Sea of Mimicium, or Mimicium, whatever you want to call it, but I like saying Mimicium. Yes. This is definitely, it's going to be so much easier to get some materials now because of this. Why not just do the alchemy run on the main branch for the time being? Because like, there's a lot that I can't. I can't do that. There's no way. I'm not going to do that. Uh, Because I need to experiment with the, the cutting edge, with the newest stuff. I want to... I want to know if, if I'm going to bother doing it, it needs to be with the, the content that is possible to obtain. So, uh, it's got to be on beta. Because it's a... It's not a little thing for me. It's like a... It's months and months and months of work, you know? And we didn't even get close to the end. Like, it's going to be like a year-long run. So, that's the thing. It's like... Anyway. I don't want to start it and have it be, like, outdated immediately. Hey, dingus. There you go. <clears throat> well. I guess let's cut this open. Pukey. Give me a chance to read some more chat. There's a lot that I haven't seen. I've once found a flask of Mimicium on a regular pedestal in the fungal cave on the second floor. Um, it used to be, it was from, I think, Apotheosis mod had Mimicium in it. But if you, like, it was just added. Hey, Axo, thanks. Welcome. How you doing? Y-E-S. Yes, yes, yes. Exo2986. Thank you. Uh, anyway, I know these potion mimics. Yeah, you can find them. Actually, what am I saying? There's a 0.5% chance. Yeah. I honestly, I'm somebody who is a big nerd and I have this thing with video game stuff that when I feel like something feels special, I don't. I like for it to be unique. Like, so I don't like the idea personally. I don't like the idea of finding these out in the world anywhere, even if it's a low chance. 
I think it should remain just something up here. That if you want it, you gotta come up here to get it. I don't know. Having a, like a small chance for it to spawn is like, nye, it makes it feel less special to me. But whatever. Um, but then somebody was like, well, if you break this original flask or kill it or whatever, or then you can soft lock yourself to, you can't solve this. And like, you can do the same thing with a lot of things in this game, soft lock yourself. Like, if you delete or destroy or lose the broken, well, I guess not. I guess the broken spell is not necessary. You can dig to the end of everything, but whatever. You know, there are ways to kind of like mess up things in this game, and I think that's okay. But that's just me being a mega nerd, being like, I love how special this feels. And then when I found out that they have a chance to spawn around the world, I'm like, aw, man, really? Anyway. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh. What do we. Don't really. What do I not care about? I guess a shield. Actually, just in case, I might wanna. I'm not gonna use that right now. I'll know where to find it if I want it. I don't want to kill any of the fish, just in case. Because it is weird, you know? Suffer did this, and I think other people I'm sure have, but it is weird that we have this structure up here with these fish in it right above the fish pond. Like, the fish pond on, on the surface is right below this. So it would make sense that you have to drain them into the fish pond, but... Yeah. I don't care, whatever, it's fine. I don't about using it as a backpack. I actually don't like having a lot of spells. I like throwing stuff out in this game. Because I'm not planning on doing like a mega, mega run anyway, you know? I like throwing it out. I like, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, we don't have enough inventory. And I feel that way only about items, not about spells. I think we have plenty of room for spells. You gotta, gotta make decisions. If I was doing a really long run, then sure, I want all the room, but we're not doing anything like that right now. All right. It's dark, but okay. Too bad it dies so fast. Anyway, cessation. Hmm. Now. Yeah. The air. There are new pillars. Two. Grass touching succeeded. Or whatever. We gotta go to the pyramid. I forgot to do this. I was gonna... Should have grabbed this before we went up here. Oh, you know what? Yay! Now we got more. <laughs> Friends! All right. So they did nerf it, that anyway. When I made the video, you know, I had a million of those, well not a million, but like a dozen of those little guys spawned. Now only three of them do, but you can also, you could do infinite rain, you know, by polying yourself or casting cessation, I guess as well, to trigger that. Well, yeah. Trigger infinite potion mimic rain, which is what I'm gonna do for the alchemy run. We're gonna have these guys all over the alchemy lab. I'm gonna have a little area for them, my potion mimic assistance. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Uh, 
Ah. I didn't heal, you know. Pee pee. <laughs> this is so, I love this so much. Yay. <laughs> you know, and doing it here, you gotta rise up with it. But if I did it in the Holy Mountain or something where, or like anywhere where there's a, a ceiling, it's enough to heal you quite a bit. It only spawns like a little bit of the, uh, the helium, but it's enough. It sticks around for long enough to heal you up. If you, if your max HP is like 600, 700, maybe even more, it'll fully heal you before it dissipates or anything. I love that there's another form of healing in the game now without, without even really having to beat a boss or yeah that's true it does stain you it does give you a stain and it's it's that whoops all right i forgot i have to go up higher ah uh, there we go why am i going back up here i guess to go back over here and Desecrate this temple. <laughs> Hello. Nah. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good form of healing, too. Yeah, so the, um, the pillars, obviously I'm not going to go kill the boss right now. We don't have any increased lifetime for cessation. You could, you could, if you have like, I don't know, I haven't tested how many increased lifetimes, but I guess you could get a divide by pretty early if you really wanted to. Uh, I, I think I would prefer fighting that new boss earlier than later, you know? Early game, so it just has a little bit of HP. That was weird. Um, because it matches your HP, and if you have millions of HP or 100,000, there's the pillar for the boss. Then it just gets more difficult from there. But you just need cessation to block its, uh, to dodge its damage or when you kill it. And here's the other one. This one actually has more hidden glyphs on it. I haven't actually looked at, I think it needs to be night, nighttime out in order to see them. Yeah, I can't see shit. But this one has a lot of hidden glyphs all over it. Or whatever that's going to lead us to. Pissing on gods heals you. And yeah, and uh, what is the recipe again? You could... I forgot. You can you can make helium, or healthium, healthium, the liquid, out of divine grass. So, like, get this. And this one doesn't uh, kill you if you're, you know, if you're under the sun. If you're outside when you touch grass and you're not cheating, you're, touch, you're actually going outside to touch grass, then it won't kill you like other touch ofs. You know, if I took the trigger off. But if you're inside, then it kills you. But there is a way you pour something on this and it makes heal, uh, healthium liquid. But I can't remember what the... 
what the recipe is for that right now. All right. So we have the mimicium. We got the pea. We got to get plastic. Oh, yeah. That's why I wanted. Well, let's go to the uh, overgrown a little bit. See if I can get some more uh, ambrosia. <clears throat> Feels so strange now, having no music playing. Because I've been playing lately with a lot of music playing, you know? Murder the key man. The key man. Nice. Oh, yeah. We will. First, let me just check this place. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we'll, we'll lure one of the corrupted alchemists there and be immortal. Nice. Forgot about that. Which one is this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Do I really? Yeah, I could dig. The Lumi wand I have is pretty good. Oops. Whoops. All right. Let's just dig around here. Or let's actually, this makes getting underground so much easier, I think. Actually, is that why? Hmm. Maybe this arrow just exists just to give you an easier way underground if you, you know, don't murder yourself in the lava, at least. Lava. Magma. Yeah. Which, do I have any way to not do that? We can make some fool's gold. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted that, because now I can't heal. Oh well. I'm just gonna dig this way anyway. Uh, okay. So I guess if there, you know, if you have a way to get rid of that lava, you might be able to get underground a lot easier over there. You know, if you don't have any strong forms of digging, it's maybe less time consuming to go down that way, possibly. Hmm. <clears throat> Just gotta pee on some grass, eat that stuff, you know, it's good for you. Hey, whoops. Heals you right up. Speaking of, wow, look at that wand. Okay, hang on. Um, Get some drunk blobs. Now... I guess I'm going to get rid of that. We don't... Whatever. Get rid of some of this stuff. Too many blobs. I don't want to shoot too much. Uh, okay, that'll be fine. I don't want to shoot too much... Uh, what am I trying to say? Triplicate bolt around because I'm... I would like to find some ambrosia in here without breaking it. Ow. Whatever. All right. From doing the alchemy run also, it's so nice to uh, see all this yellow slime. And I'm like, oh, I, you know, I know how, how unique that stuff is now. And uh, I know exactly where it comes from. Yellow fungus. I don't know. Woo! 
alchemy. I don't want to shift yet. Just checked and I only find the other way around. You can make divine grass with healthium by pouring it over grass. Uh, okay. There was... Some, oh, no. This enemy I really love. How it reverses your controls just being close to it. I think that's fun, fun stuff. I think it died, though. I think that guy killed it, maybe. Uh-huh. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ah. Yeah, I'm just going to look for the Ambrosia, mostly. I'm not really going to look at wands too much. Well. Ow. <clears throat> nice. Get out of here. All right. Um, homing rocks. Wow, that's a nice wand, too. I hate coming here and being like, oh, I got to rip everything apart now because this wand's amazing. But is it? Yes, it is. It is pretty amazing. 760. Oh, boy. All right. All right. No, they did not. They did not merge everything into Master Branch. Uh, and I don't know. It might be a while before they do. I'm thinking like it could be another year. I don't even know. So it, I think that there's no reason not to play on beta anymore. There's just so much content on beta. And it's it's not really unstable or anything like that. So, I don't know. I understand if... Okay, I was like, what is that? I understand if people don't want to play on beta. But it could be a while before they push anything to main. Monkey. Monkey. All right, what do I not need? Uh, I guess I'm going to get rid of that. Wait, how many slots does that have? That has quite a few. So we're going to put our main... Use that for our main attack wand. And then slap more damage on there, maybe. Slap a lot more stuff on there. Uh, and then we will put this on here for now. Whoops. All right, let's do trigger now. Let's go. We have a double. We'll use the double first into a trigger. We're going to put damage on this side and then that as well. Our homing, actually. Homing. Yeah. Yeah. Is it looping the same song again? What is with this soundtrack specifically that every time I go to play this one, it just loops? Sweet. Mm. More mana. Uh. All 
Oh god. I thought that was Polly at first. I was like, oh shit. Oh, it's gonna home after me. That's right. Because of this mimic. Hmm. Yeah, that's something to remember. It's something to definitely keep in the memory bank is like, do not do like a homing plasma cutter wand or pla homing. That's one of the things I love doing is like a trigger into homing plasma. If I did that right now, it would murder me. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be quite careful now. Right, let me get rid of the homing then for, for the moment. We don't need that. It's kind of... Uh yeah. Wow. All right. How are you today? Why would that murder you? Does homing lock onto the Pope? It does. Yeah. So because it's probably unintended, but I have the potion mimic in my inventory. And so if you use homing with one of these in your inventory, all your spells home at you and will hit you. Um, but you could also use cessation. Maybe it is intended because there's cessation now too. Uh, you can make this, you can remove the casts, the 25 uh, charges with just one, what do you call it? Uh, unlimited spells perk removes the charges. And then you can use cessation to like turn invincible. We're we're probably gonna make some like really insane cessation builds now using piercing and stuff. Just like wand loadouts that typically wouldn't be used because of how deadly they are or self damage deadly, but now they could be. Uh, you use cessation to avoid that damage. Anyway. So yeah, I did forget, even though I was just talking about that a little while ago. This is the first time I'm getting homing again after the update and stuff. Like I did a run last night, but I, it wasn't like a, I didn't come here or anything. It was basically just like, Went around the surface, did the new stuff, and then kind of did went down and beat the game. Nice. <clears throat> it's totally... I'm sure I'm going to kill myself with it. I'm sure I am. Hopefully not today, in this run. But the possibility is definitely there. Especially on stream, though. Just, like, not paying attention. Just, like, all of a sudden, dead. I'm not going to Teleport bolt swapper. I, I don't yet. I haven't experimented that much. I need that. We can get rid of this now. I'm not going to keep the pheromone. Please don't explode this. Thank you. All right. So now I got my bag. I just need some... Uh, some ambrosia. I guess I don't need Ambrosia, I can heal, but it would be a lot easier to do do this with Ambrosia. We're going to get shot in the face by a shotgunner until we get a few pixels of plastic in the pouch. And I'm going to shift something in the plastic. And I also want to shift stuff into Mimikium and just have plastic, molten plastic and Mimikium all over the place. That is the goal. Destroy the world with microplastics. <laughs> Do I want that? It's good. Look at that. Recharge. Eh. I'll just keep that. For my digging wand, I'll probably end up using that. Yeah. Should be able to just maintain. I don't know how fast that wand is, though. Oof. Hey, cut it out.
<clears throat> if you see Ambrosia anywhere, let me know. Might not notice it right away. Uh, return won't work. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't tested yet anything. I know a lot of people, there's like a long distance travel wand that somebody made using cessation, but it's like, it's not that good or anything, but it's funny. Or I guess it's interesting, so that, you know, that's cool. Hey, get your tongue away from me. Cessation. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing any flasks. More damage. Wow. 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 All right, I'll grab the damage. Sure, why not? Um, I'm supposed to be looking for this. Oh, whoops. Ah, just teleport. Ah. Woo, that was a close one. Do I have... Bouncing burst. We're gonna make a bouncing burst wand. Do we? Eh. Well, I, okay, that broke. So, rip. You know what, sir? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is any liquid. Yeah, limb. Welcome. So that means, ah, so nice being able to, being able to get so many liquids that are kind of annoying to get or whatever, so much easier. Now, Lim, I'm sure you've tested this, the slime, this, the slime count in that. I guess I could test it right now, but I won't. Whatever. Wait. How many slots does it have? 16? Uh, 47. Two per cast. Okay. 47, 35. 690, 204. Man. Man, oh man. Okay. I'm pretty sure slime counts as a liquid, right? Just very viscous. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Lim, did you know that, uh, you know, when you hold the potion mimic, how you become a target for things? Did you know that uh, this enemy right here that makes things invincible in its proximity? Did you know that it makes you invincible as well? <laughs> Muha ha ha ha. Uh... Huh? Wait a minute, what? One, two, yeah, okay. Do I have anything else to trigger? Or shove this on here, why not? Um... I guess I will put light on here, too. Alright, not homing yet. Maybe we'll put this on here as well. A little bit more damage. Why not? Who cares? Let's get freaky. Alright, and then... <clears throat> use this as our teleport wand. I'm not going to keep all this stuff. Alright. And then this wand... 340, 380, Okay. The enemy progress is the uh, refresh mimic that I refuse to cheat in or anything like that because it's the rarest enemy in the game. I want to just find it naturally. I was thinking possibly in the next alchemy run when I get to actually finish the alchemy run or maybe, you know, I might 
get it in that run because that's going to be like a big, epic, long, year long run, six month long run or something. Maybe I'll get it in that. We'll do like the po the uh, chest strain to get it. But other than that, yeah, I might not, though. I might just wait. Uh, do any more tinkering right now getting annoyed with tinkering i just want to find some some yellow sauce unless i find something amazing like that would be really nice but not for this run Take a break real quick. Once I get up here. I have sushi next to me. Wait, let me eat some of it now. It's all it's all the rice is getting hard and gross. Delicious. I get down here? Do I really have to dig all the way up with this? <clears throat> yeah, so there's a refresh mimic. Sorry to spoil that for you. Uh, it's the rarest enemy in the game. And so I don't want to use like a seed that has it on there or whatever. Like I'm content to never find it, possibly. It doesn't really count to your progress or anything. Like, I have, uh, you know, 100% up there, but, you know. I'm okay with not having it. Because I want some... It's... It being so incredibly rare, I want to only get it during a special... A special run or something. Like, this run... We're just messing around with fungal shifting in a bit, you know? Just doing kind of an ordinary sort of run, in a way. But, uh... Yeah. Dark Sun Mimics? <laughs> nice. Snowman Mimics? I, I There should be a Snowman Mimic. For revenge, you know, we always like go in there on their turf, snowy depths, blow them up, use them for cover, kick their heads off their bodies, and they're like, God damn it, again? Now I gotta find my body again. <laughs> or whatever. And there should be like a snowman mimic that like 
one shots you. <laughs> like if you kick its head off, it's just like, oh no, hell no. And just like pulls out a nuke or something. A snowman cannon blows you up. It's, the cauldron is a mimic already. Um, oh yeah, I was going to heal. Whoops. I guess we can. Oh no, we can't. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go down here first. I'm just gonna anger the gods at this point. Oh, hey, there's the chest that I was like, I, I think there's a chest someplace. Oh, nice. Thank you. It's, um, let's, I don't think I left any heals or anything and only in the, the holy mountain before he see base. Pretty sure. Uh, or we could just heal from the dark cave. Let's, I, I want, I want, uh, Ambrosia, though. I guess we can go into the... Okay. The Alchemy Lab probably has some Ambrosia. I hope. Maybe not, but I hope it does. <clears throat> do, 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 do. The run we find the 10th eye message. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. You think there is one? You think... What side do you fall on? If you know about the eye messages and the details about them, do you fall on the side of there's only nine for a reason? Like there's a really good reason why there's only nine? Or do you think there is... A tenth already that we need to find, or a tenth that's going to, like, I guess, appear after solving the rest of that puzzle. Still looking for advice on how to build a wand which does as little damage as possible while still causing enemies to bleed. Hmm. Yeah. We have to... We gotta prototype that. Well, you can remove damage. I mean, I know you could remove, you could use null shot to remove all damage. That's what you do. Just use null shot. It adds lifetime too, so the projectile will last really long. Uh, and just remove all damage with Null Shot. You can make it Piercing, too. Add Piercing, but you'll remove all the damage with Null Shot. And then... In it also removes Bleeding? That's why. I think you already said that a long time ago. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's just get GG for now. Um... <laughs> I like to have one empty space just just for a panic pickup, just in case. Um, let's actually dig down. We gotta go to the dark cave. Whoops. Let's dig down over here. Nice. Mana. <clears throat> Hello, my friend. You are my friend. You are all my friends. Hello, my friend. 
Yes, go in the happy sauce. Yeah. See, you even get that shield around you to let you know. Hey, you're invincible. At first I was like, is it just the mimic that's invincible? But it's not. <laughs> it's you too. Hell yeah. Let me uh, heal though. Uh, Hey. What are you attacking? Me? You can't hurt this. I'm gonna have another bite of sushi real quick while this thing shoots at us. You're gonna kill my friend, dude, though. Stop. Ow, you're gonna kill me. Oops. Ow. Um, obviously, uh, flashing light warning. <laughs> ah. Woo! Take that off of there, please. Thank you. And then I guess shove it back on here. Um, let's see. General Kenobi. Hello, Terem. How you doing? Mountain Mimic. You know, Calyaresis' Mountain Mimic mod was based on the idea that one time one of the developers, RV, was memeing about making a Mountain Mimic. Uh, he drew a really cool picture that I hope I have still. I don't know if I do, though. Um, but RV, you could probably look it up easily. He drew like a funny picture of like a the mountain with a big club attacking the player or something. But it would be amazing to be able to wake up the mountain and have it attack you. He drew, he made this too. <laughs> it's the Uwu forgotten. Look at it, it's so good. <laughs> That's gonna go right in the Noita boss's dating game. The dating sim. And then I saved this recently. Talking about the sun, dark sun, the damage. All right. Smack. Let's -a go. I should have taken a. Uh... We'll find one of these closer to the arena, hopefully. I should have taken a homebringer with me. I think I saw some earlier, but oh well. Oh well. Does shooting them submerged in Mimikium not work? Shooting what? Oh, that should work, Marisa. Yeah. For liquids. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, then there are some enemies. There are some some bloods that we really want in the alchemy stuff. Like uh, the mask enemy. The glowing mask enemy is the only thing, the only way in the entire game, besides a really rare great treasure chest, to get a green magical liquid, which is actually a powder. And these things die pretty quickly and easily, so... Can't use the, uh... Man, recoil. Can't use uh, Mimikium to get that, but... Other thing, liquid blood, yeah. Liquid blood. Hello, sir. <sighs> eh. 
No, that was bad. Oh my god. Look at all of them though. If only Okay, we'll we'll bring you there, maybe. Yes, just come over here. Come over, come over here. I need to get rid of this so you can move through. No, no, no. No, no, no. We'll make you a little pathway over there. So this is definitely, uh, I mean, if you, this is the slow way to do it, of course. But if you have a homebringer, you could bring one of these all around the world and fight every boss while invincible. Although this stuff, I don't know, this effect, does it block poly? Probably not. It's probably just like the ambrosia stain. But imagine if it blocked everything, every debuff, that would be, that would definitely get fixed. <laughs> This might still get fixed, but enjoy it while you can. Because just having one of these in your inventory makes you invincible while you're around these guys. But uh, I think even that is very OP and probably going to be fixed. Test the poly! After I kill the alchemist. You're right here. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Wait, let me make sure. Um. All right. Hey, buddy. Okay. You are my friend. Uh, hello? Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I turned the music off. I was like, I don't hear boss music. How far does it extend down... Let's just stay close. Oh God, it, well, it does not protect you from that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> but I'm still, well, actually I'm still immune to damage right now. So that's fine. So, okay. It does not protect you from Polly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, we've learned. Oh, I'm glad that it was not a our, the last, the final lesson. Oh, my friend, you have died. <laughs> Hello, you're my new friend. Yeah, come to attack me. All right, you dead. Just in case. All right. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use that, I guess. I was I wanted to maybe use Holy Lance at some point, but let's just shove that down there for now with this. Now, I guess, am I going to pick up the key? Not really. I'm going to leave the key there, I think. Wait, wait. Having what? I missed it. Oh, so having a potion mimic in your inventory allows you to be considered a target by, like, maybe a lot more than just this. We got to test it. As we play the game with potion mimics, Ali, the developer who made this a patch and all this new content, is away for the weekend, but he'll be probably putting out another patch, bug fixing things on Monday, 
or maybe, you know, next week sometime. Uh, so this is probably going to get fixed, but there might be a bunch of broken, powerful stuff right now, like being completely immune to everything when you're in the, you know, just carrying, you don't even have to have it selected. Just having one of these in your inventory makes you immortal around these guys. So, no, no, Hampuli, or RV was working on the game. And uh, he's contracted, though, so his contract expired. But there's still stuff that he wants to add. So he'll probably get a, his contract renewed at some point. Petri is, like, the developer who made the uh, the engine and everything of the game. Noita is, like, he worked on Noita before hiring the others, pretty much. Uh, you guys want to see the very, very first version of Noita? Real quick. Uh, oh, whoops, that's not even it. I don't know if there's a way to... Here, psh. No. Bloody zombies. Hang on, this is the first version of Noita. This is the prototype. I can't resize it right now. Whoops, I gotta shut down and then... All right. <clears throat> so you're gonna have to like squint to see it. <laughs> but it's just you, no, Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara, the zombies. Watch out. Barbara? No! Okay. I have to rescue Barbara before it's too late. I gotta get these keys to open the door. Right thumb lawn. Lawnmower. <laughs> right thumb equals lawn. And that's lawnmower. Okay. So this is when he... Right after he made the engine. This is the first prototype version, like... This is the history before Noita. How come I can't kill you? You're invincible. Blood. Crystal key. That's right. What if there's a secret in this game to help us solve the eyes? So you can surf. Use gas to blood surf. Um, the gas? Oh, there we go. There we go. You can surf out of... You have momentum, so you could, like, fly up higher. I beat this last night. I was playing it. Just played through the whole thing. It's not that long, but it... it there are a couple parts. It starts off very simple, but then you, you have to actually use the momentum of blood surfing to... Anyway, to solve some of the rooms. Yep, open MPT. Uh, so my first music that I ever made was using trackers back in the day. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, did we get stuck already? <gasps> wow. Uh, anyway. Wow. Okay. I think I might be stuck. Well, anyway, that's bloody zombies. <laughs> Very first prototype that he made after making the engine so long ago. Uh, yeah, so the first music I ever made when I was like 13 was using trackers. And because I, I'm returning to music production after like 10 years of not doing it at all, really. I'm going to release a, a record this year. Or the goal is to finish and release it this year made using trackers so because i'm a uh sentimental and i think it's poetic yeah i've used renoise mm -hmm. renoise didn't come out until long after that though <laughs> I'm enjoying using OpenMPT. I like the 
the limitations it has. That's the whole point of this uh, record or whatever is to put a lot of limitations on myself. I mean, it still has MIDI. All right, anyway. Oh yeah, I need to look around in there. The point is to also find Ambrosia and not drown. Hmm. All right. So, I don't think there's any Ambrosia in here. Didn't seem like there was. And I mean, I have gear too, or like a few pieces of gear. So I'm gonna like design synthesizer patches. All right, I already have a bunch that I never used. I'm gonna design and use synthesizer patches and just sample them or, you know, record them through MIDI directly into the tracker, pretty much. And then I'll master everything afterwards. I don't see a difference between, uh, oh, between bloody zombies and Noita. It is very impressive, bloody zombies. I mean, I just gotta... Full screen doesn't work, but I'm sure I could stretch it somehow, you know? Stretch. Strength. Lamoxium. All right, we might have to make Ambrosia. <laughs> Oops, don't wreck yourself. Levitadium. Oh, they both died. I didn't realize that, that one died too. Hey! Oh, hi. <clears throat> all right. So, all right. Are you here too? Kill you. I mean, I guess I don't really need Ambrosia. It's taken too long to find it, so. Do I have... Oh, I guess there was no, yeah. I could just heal myself with that, with the helium, or I left a heart down in the, one of the holy mountains. I mean, I didn't go through all the holy mountains anyway, so. Let's just, you know, let's get shot in the face a little bit, point blank. Why not? Fun times. Get out of here. Hopefully I left a shotgunner alive in here. <laughs> but it is easy to make uh, Ambrosia. If you want to, it produces poison too, but poison evaporates very quickly. You could just make ambrosia with uh, honey and diamond, right? Forgot. I think it's hun. I know it's honey, but I think it's diamond too. I haven't made it in a while. I gotta brush up on all my uh, alchemy again. Or, like, the alchemy that I haven't done in a long time. Hey, Logan. By the way, hello. Uh, development, you have to start somewhere. Yeah. I think it's a cool, cool prototype. And just the blood effects, just seeing it all the way, you know, in a more simple game. Just with a, in, very much inspired by Dead Alive which is a movie that Peter Jackson made before 
all the Lord of the Rings stuff. Dead Alive. And it's basically a schlocky horror movie where the main character runs through zombies with a lawnmower held up. <laughs> it's good stuff. Hey, Mudpunk. Also, hello. Plus Vex. Um... And everyone. I don't know what that I'd call that the first version based on the interview. It was something he made, but Noita was never a thought at the time. Yeah, I mean, sure, sure. That's after he made the engine. And it was later on that, you know, Noita, Noita, Noita was not a thing for a long time. There was the God game, the Terraria type survival game, the sci-fi action adventure game. So these guys produce uh, plastic as well. I don't know, like I just kind of blanked out. I was supposed to, Here, hang on. Let me kill some of these other enemies. Kind of clear a path here. I want to try to get like a few pixels of plastic in this pouch. Right, perfect. Kill you. So that's a pixel of plastic right there. Snow and plastic. See, the thing is we're here and there's snow everywhere. Let me go back up to the mines. Unless you might be good. Here, I want to get that snow out of there. All right. Although, okay, you can separate it easily. Come back, plastic. Ow. We can eat everything except for the plastic, so I can just... I just need more than 1% of plastic. I mean, I, that's all I really need, but I'd like to have more. Meat, glue, and plastic. Yummy. Everything the body needs. Gl growing, growing boys, and growing girls. Growing noits. Oh, you're gonna see. This is why I wanted ambrosia. Huh? Okay. All right. That's all plastic over there. I think. Really? Let's just wait until he... Come on, shoot me! Plastic. Plastic. It's only 1%, man. Come on, dude. The glue guys also make plastic, but I don't want to get, like, a crap ton of glue in the bag as well. I guess, you know, the I could have just brought one of the uh, one of those alchemists that make me invincible over to the mines. Whoops. That would have been uh, a lot faster. Ow. So now I got to heal. So only have one percent. We'll try to do it with one percent. Maybe. Uh, no. All right. What's today's goal? Plastic. 
<laughs> Whack. Stream title. Shifting plastic and mimicium. I'm quacking, quacking up. Let me finish my lunch. Quack. Quack. Yeah, the tiny red pixel is plastic. Back. Corridor. And it's a lot easier if you have more than one shotgunner or glue enemy around. I prefer the shotgunners. Some ambrosia. And then you just sit there and let them shoot you and they produce a bunch of plastic all over the place. And then you can just uh, farm it all. Yeah. I just want 2%. Come on, man. Also, wait. Let me see if there's a shotgunner over here. Near the, uh, the chasm. Ah. Because plastic, you can collect it as a powder, but then you can also melt it. Get molten plastic, and then we could shift things to that, potentially. For even more fun. What's the use of plastic? Quack. Does everything need to have a use? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's cool. Um, just for, uh, it might not even have any use at all. It's just, it's shell casings when the shotgunners shoot at you. They shoot, they eject a shell casing pretty much. But, uh, Quack. it's just fun. Just fun. So, the rest of this crap, we can, oops. We can eat the rest of this. We can't eat the plastic. Quack. And plastic doesn't have any collision. So it's really easy to just like separate everything else out of it. 1% plastic. Yes. Quack. 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 Let me uh, see if there's a shotgunner up here. Because if we could get one to follow us down into the chasm, I guess not. There's nothing alive over here. Rip. <clears throat> a healthy body requires a diverse diet, such as glue, snow, rotten meat, and maybe a little bit of plastic residue. Quack. You gotta, you gotta get that nutrition, those amino acids. <laughs> hey, shoot me. Hello? Hey, why are you not shooting me? Quack. Do I have more love? I don't. What is, are you broken? Are you my friend now? Have you decided? I don't want to be a bad PC shotgunner anymore. I just want to, I just want to dance. <laughs> I just want to make love, not war. Quack. Quack. You still don't want to attack me? That's interesting. Have we found the the good he Quack. see? He's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to attack. No more fighting. I'm scared. Quack. I'm afraid. Okay. All my hisi friends make fun of me. Because I'm the one that always gets used by the the evil noitas of the world, the noidat. 
of the world when they want to go plastic farming. <laughs> they like to make, they need to make their credit cards, so. Hey. Can you please? Hey. Wow. <laughs> you know? Whack. It is interesting. It is quite interesting. I mean, I've had them act strange before, you know, but not this strange. Quack. Spooky. Spooky. It is. He's like haunted. Ow. Quack. All right, we're probably just going to try to shift the 1%. Alright, yeah, that's all we need. That's all we need, guys. Do I have... I didn't get a refresh, did I? Let's go... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Let's just, let's just go up to, and shift something into plastic. Although, I think I'm going to look up the shifts now. Because the whole point is to, like, not lose the plastic immediately. Back. By, you know, turning plastic into something else and losing it forever. So once we get up there, then I'll I'll look it up. The slacker he see. He got tired of the entire protect the holy mountain business. You don't want to get up for Sunday school. Yep. It's like screw this. I'm I'm I quit. I quit. Whoa, that was a little close. Raw. All right, I guess let's, uh, with the brass. See, that's the problem now. I got brass in it. We're probably gonna lose it right now. And I'm, and then I'm gonna lose it. Oh, hi. Hello. Goodbye. Or maybe Maybe it has something to do with the mim Mimic Flask. Let's just get rid of all the snow. It probably does have something to do with the Mimic Flask. All right. Try to melt it and duplicate it. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, it's not enough. Okay, let me look up the shifts now. This is seed number that. Uh, and... Do I have this set here? Noi tool. Um, <clears throat> Oops, what am I doing? Noi tool, we got 412, 269. 188. All right, let's see. Wow, wow, wow. I don't want to look at anything else. Are you freaking kidding me? Did you see that? Hey, Darren, what's up? Did you see that? Did you see what I saw? One of the pacifist chests that I already killed too many things. It actually has a refresh mimic in it. That's hilarious. Okay, I don't want to look at the perks. I just want to see the shifts. Um, so we can shift oil, swamp, and peat into plastic. <laughs> that's pretty... That's pretty... Crazy. Uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. Like Very rare. Jeez, man. Alright. Oil, swamp, and peat to flask. Toxic Sludge to Blood. Toxic Sludge and Ominous Liquid to Flask. Let's just do the first one for now. Oil, Swamp, and Peat will turn into plastic. I hope. If this is working. I haven't used it in a while. Ha. So I played Noita the other day and my water flask turned to steam. What exactly happened? So now there's potion mixing in the game. So 
or potion reactions. So basically, yeah, if you're running and you're running with your water flask out and you get one single pixel of fire in that flask, it's all going to turn to steam. But it makes some things a lot easier, some good things a lot easier, like uh, in beta, only on beta, not main branch. Um, like alchemy recipes are a lot easier to make. You can just mix them in the flask. Uh, you can turn unstable teleportation into stable teleportation by just spraying a tiny bit of it out and then mixing it, mixing a little bit of slime in there from like these bad enemies in here usually early on anyway and then it and then you shake it you can shake the flask to make the reaction happen faster yeah it's really really cool there's so many um so many very interesting things we can do now with that mechanic all right let's uh let's eat some fungus and yeah now you can shift holding pouches as well Why they keep all the goodies on beta only? I'm not quite sure. I mean, obviously, to make sure it's all tested, it's not going to destroy everyone's game. But uh, it's been a year. We've had a year of content added to the game. I mean, not a year of content, but the first patches started appearing a year ago. And that stuff's still not on main branch. Except for the bug fixes. It's crazy. I hate the fire physics in Noita. I'm, it makes zero sense that water doesn't actually douse it. The fire somehow just burns water. It doesn't burn water. It burns oil on top of water. Uh, but yeah, fire is a little bit sticky in this game. But I mean, it's, you know, it's got to be like that. It's a video game. It used to be more sticky. It used to be like fire was so difficult to douse back in early access. Okay. Blood. So we turned blood to plastic. I am plastic, man. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Oh, where's something that's going to bleed? Yo! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> we got plastic for days now. That's amazing. <laughs> Yo. Hell yes. Get that rotten meat out of there. <laughs> yep. All those macro microplastics in, in our blood. Just that's why you don't don't microwave things in plastic, guys. It's really bad for you. That's what happens. <laughs> Where's all this gold coming from? Wait, did we have Midas? There's probably a bag, right? Hmm. Oh, you're a friend. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Okay. It's just. The plastic is causing the gold to upwarp. Interesting. Hey, Donkey Show. I am doing well, yeah. Plastic. Um. So that was the first shift. So I guess we can't really trust this right now. So we shifted. Oh wait. Yeah, we shifted blood to flask. So now, who knows what the next one's going to be. There was only one kind of plastic in the pouch. I had 1%. It was only the plastic from the... Um, well, yeah, there were plastic transformed. We had regular plastic and plastic transformed in the pouch. Now, or like before I sprayed it out, the other... Nice. Hey, no one. How you doing? No one is the one. 
Yeah, we ended up with plastic plus plastic transformed because I got the regular plastic from the shotgunner and then shifted it and made... Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Because I guess there was blood... Yeah, there was blood created around me when we shifted. And then I kept your... I got that in the bag. So blood is now plastic transformed as well. The dev version works? Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, wait, hang on. All right. Sweet. This little guy staring me in the face. Damn it, man. I wouldn't want to get it like that anyway. I mean, I guess if it was... Damn, we could have gotten that in this run. If I would have just not killed anything. That would have been crazy to get that randomly, you know? Man. So... Gold turns to excrement. Divine ground turns to grass. Blood to held material. So the next one is sand to blood. So that's going to be sand to pla... No, it'll be regular blood. And we don't get another held material until all the way down here. <clears throat> there are, Lim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Just, it has a really low chance to be shifted as well, just like gold. All right. So that sucks. I thought we'd have more chances to be able to do some cool stuff. I got to do a bunch of, bunch of shifts wow. now that don't do anything. Here, let's mix plastic with ambrosia. Nothing happens. <laughs> um, but let's, uh... Let's make some molten plastic and then get this out of here. We'll make some molten plastic <clears throat> and then we'll try to shift that. Yeah. There we get a, that's fine. I am cha or rook my yeah I am using the uh, those settings. Whoops. Um, let's put on some risk of rain too. Yes. All this plastic everywhere is incredible. Muhahaha. <laughs> and look, all other powders. Oh, that's poly. Oh my god, that's not good. I thought that was snow that was being upwarped. That's all poly over there. But you're look at you. What are you doing? Ow. Stop it. <laughs> what happened to him? Did he just turn into plastic? Let me not get polyed in here. Teleports right into the poly. <clears throat> Was it this one? I don't want to get it now that I know about it. No, that would be cheating now. I don't want it. That's why I don't have it yet, because I don't want to cheat it. If I didn't know about it and we got it, that, that's one thing. But already knowing about it... Oops, I am going to die now. Molten plastic, there we go. See, the molten version is pink. <laughs> yes. Just, do I have any, uh... Any fire... Let's heal. Let's do a little bit of healing. Uh, let's 
All right. A little pea. A little divine grass. <laughs> this game just get, keeps getting better and better and better and better. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Here, let's go. Uh, let's go over here someplace away from other materials, maybe. Let's go into one of the Holy Mountain portal areas. There's a way to get it. All right, hang on. Here, kill you. But yeah, I wouldn't, uh, all plastic yep see now if i would have just been playing and randomly got this pacifist chest then i would have that would have been fine but looking it up and seeing that it's there and then being like oh i can still go get that no i don't want to do that the only reason why i pulled this tool up was just to have fun with shifts you know but i'm gonna close it anyway now <clears throat> like i don't want to know the perks that are available and stuff like that. Sir, can you please... <gasps> bleed that plastic all over me. Daddy. <laughs> what? Alright. All the people who are like... I don't even remember the name of that enemy, but all the people who, who worship at the altar of the CEO... They're probably like, yes, right now. What are they called? Where are they? These guys. The Toymari. Toymari? <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to, like... Right, we'll just do it here. This is not a liquid anyway. We just gotta make sure there's... <laughs> we just gotta make sure there's no liquid anywhere. Mm, yummy. All right. So, molten plastic. It lasts for a decent amount of time, right? Hopefully. Yes. Molten plastic. It's not quite molten. Oh. <laughs> but hey, we have 57%. I could get more. Might as well grab this. Who cares? I guess I could do it right here. It'd be just fine. All right. Yeah, very quickly becomes regular plastic, but you can top it with something, I'm sure. It's just when it touches air, it becomes regular plastic. Yes. Take a sip. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, whoops. Yummy. Delicious. Tastes like McDonald's. <laughs> Tastes like America. Oh no. What the hell? What the hell, guys? I don't want that. I don't want any of that. We're gonna get another one of these. Alright. I'll be right back. I need a quick bathroom break. Yeah, American cheese. Processed cheese. That's what that is. That's what that is right there. All right. Order. Or. Quack. 
Whack. Quack. <clears throat> I wonder what... Quack. I wonder what a plastic or molten plastic shield would look like. If we could get magical liquid. We get magical liquid a lot easier now using this. Quack. Quack. <clears throat> what glitches? Yeah, we're not using any glitches, right? I don't think I am. No glitches. Is there a way a glitch for... For what? Anyway. Create blood spell right there. Create plastic now. Oh, thank you. I didn't even realize. Hell yes. Hell yes. Um. Um. Hang on. Spooky. Yes, I need a bigger wand. I need more wandage. <clears throat> Maybe I don't need, you know, all that, but whatever. It's fine. It's fun. Quack. It's fun times. Uh... All right. Oh, the fish. I knew they were fake. What's up, Terrible Art? Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a really nice stream. We're uh we're revealing the truth about the world of Noita. Everyone, please go and check out Terrible Art. He's a really cool guy. Real cool. Plays Noita. Drop him a follow. Show him some love. Do it. And Tiny Rogues. Yeah, nice. So I shifted blood to plastic. Um, because when the shotgunner enemies fire, they shoot out a pixel of plastic that a lot of people, if you do notice it, it's just one pixel. You might think it's just blood or something, but it's actually a single pixel of red plastic. And uh, we got we got one in a in a pouch. You can collect it in the pouch, obviously. And then now we can shift pouches. So I shifted it. And then now when I kill everything that bleeds normal blood, it actually bleeds plastic because everything is fake. We're in Westworld. And then we have a flask of molten plastic. And that's going to be the next shift. And then we have the plastic spell. Excellent. <laughs> and then Sea of Mimikium as well to duplicate molten plastic. So, yeah. Although I closed Noitool and I don't know if we're going to lose any of the stuff. Yes, it's microplastics. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Here, let's uh, take that off there. Definitely. Wait. All right. And then I do have the home. We also found out that these guys, when you have a potion mimic in your inventory, the uh, some enemies might have very interesting effects on you. We gotta, we gotta think about other enemies that might do some cool stuff, because the uh, these guys make you invincible when you're near them. Because it's like the the potion mimic is apparent, or is a you're apparent to the potion mimic, and it makes the potion mimic invulnerable 
with its like AOE. Uh, and it works on you as well. Green crystal thingy? Try? Try what? What does that mean? <laughs> Green crystal thingy try? You mean this? <clears throat> or you mean try to get the potion mimic? Or the refresh mimic? No way. No. I refuse. Sorry. Not doing it. <clears throat> you can do it. You can use the seed and do that, but I will not. In tower. Oh, whoops. I'm going to burn to death. Oh, no. <laughs> and now that uh, that oil blood earlier that we saw seems so much... Okay. So much nicer. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to use that anymore. You know, a flask of uh, slime, I guess. Okay. What the hell? Did it not even have a wand? That wand looks like it's from there. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> Green crystal thingy that might affect you with a mimic in your inventory. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. The Healy crystals. Ow. Yeah. Well, we can find them... Uh, Desert Chasm. Plastic. Just polluting... Hey, what happened down here? Man. Polluting the jungle with plastic. I do wish I had some black holes now, though. Oh. Oh yeah, there is water in the world. For some reason, I, I forgot. I didn't think that there was water. But no, we just shifted blood. Hey. If I could get a flask. Although I do have a blood stain because of my blood. The uh, blood fading. The different kind of blood. Do, do. Super awesome Goku. Gifted Zine. Yo, thank you so much, Goku. Whoops. Y E S. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Zine, welcome. For the flask? Was there a flask over there? I'm kind of blind right now. <clears throat> I didn't notice the flask, obviously. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Hang on. Uh... Uh, so this is, yeah, so we'll use, oh, they're both, that's right, that's a material as well. <clears throat> so, that's fine. All right. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Do I want plasma anymore? I'm not sure. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to do this. Let's just get rid of this. I'm not going to use that. Uh, <clears throat> and this. Why not? We're not going to use that for this run, I think. All right. Oh, no. 
Yeah. What's up? All right. Hey, Argon. How you doing today? This evening? Hope, hope you're having a good one. Uh, I just discovered something nice and dangerous about our little new Noita mascot. I mean, I did not discover it. I was watching Suffer. This guy? Homing everything into you? Argon. I just ate. I just finished eating. All right, hang on. I'll grab a quick thingy. Yeah, it homes. It makes all your spells home into you. But Argon, it also makes these guys turn you invincible as well. Just like how they affect enemies. So any enemy, it counts you in that. So you can very easily, all you got to do is just get up and grab one of these from the, the temple. Go down and kill the alchemist with any wand. You just have to have one of those, one of those guys near you. That's it. And you're invincible. That's it. I mean, the alchemist can kill this thing and then you lose your invincibility. But yeah, these guys being near you make you invincible. But it probably will be patched. So have fun right now or else. Um, let me kill this first, please. And then Here, we'll just do this. All right. Short range homing. <laughs> nice. So I guess short range homing would be nicer. Too bad that's on there. That's definitely something I do not want to uh, use at the moment. Short range homing might be better. Uh, let's see. I'll just throw that away. Wow. So it doesn't even go anywhere because of that. Oops. Okay. I wonder if they're going to keep that. So if I put regular homing on there, then... Well. It's like having a, a wisp. But it's a really good way to get yourself heals. You know, you don't need Boomerang or Ping Pong Path or anything like that anymore for, like, healing bolts. You can just carry one of these on you and then immediately... All right. Immediately be able to get the heals easily. Just piercing healing bolt. Boom. Easy peasy. Imagine having fun. <laughs> I'm, it is pretty powerful, though, being invincible. But, I mean, you still have to get one of these. And you still have to... Know that it's going to make you invincible. I don't know. I think they should remove the spawns of these from around the world. Right now, there's a 0.5% chance that you'll find one of these on a potion pedestal anywhere. I think they it should only be up in the temple. That's it. Because then if somebody goes down and, like, finds one of these in Fungal Caverns or something, like, they may get invincibility and be like, what? Like, I don't know. And it'd be easy, a lot easier to just stumble into that mechanic. It is rare, but, yeah, I don't know. Blah. Personal preference. I'll keep the homing on there, I guess, for now. Maybe. Whatever. All right. Let me just grab a snack. Snack. I'm not going to pause either. We're going to tempt fate.
<laughs> if you don't exist, you can't make progress. Oh, wait. Cessation probably works for, well for the deer boss, but yeah, do you get progress if you're cessated when you kill? Yeah! I'm sure you do. You get progress when you kill the rock boss. You don't? Interesting. The, I think maybe the rock boss is also bugged because I only killed him twice, I think, and it counted, it gave me nine kills. Which is strange. I think it was only twice that I killed it. Um, all right. Let's try to shift. Well, let me look that up again, I guess, man. Hang on, let me kill these guys. Let's see. It's based on what I saw. Uh, dev, the annoy tool, schmack. Oh, wait. Ah. Okay. So this means that I, the next flat, um, the next uh, shift that I have that's going to count a uh, held material is all the way down here. Or what? I guess so. That's crazy. We got to do all these shifts before we get one that is going to use the plastic. Sand to blood. Ah, uh, that's stupid. <laughs> all right, time to go to fungal in the jungle. Okay, we got mana, please. Uh, just gonna get rid of that. Oops. Oopsie. All right. And then yeah, what was up? Where'd my other wand go? <laughs> what the hell? Oh yeah. Okay, that's why. No, I guess we'll take that wand again, just to put this on there. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll do the green thing. I. <sighs> right, let me do that now. Well, I have to shift first. No. Uh, I don't care. Black holes would be nice. Time to die. Um... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but can you die, please, Hive? Thank you. Okay. Mmm, yummy. So sand to blood, huh? Thanks for trying to tell me, Tarum. Yeah. <laughs> I am a little tired now, or I've been a little bit... I think now I am technically tired. It is 6.30 p.m. I was gonna stream right through dinner time. I just finished my, like, my lunch. I had sushi sitting here for three hours while I streamed. That's why it's so much, it's, whoops, don't do that. It's so difficult for me to stream and eat, you know? Like I sit here and I'm like, I got food sitting right next to me and then I end up not eating it for an hour. Anyway, I'm gonna try to stream 
and get this done, but... Uh... No, the desert's just gonna be blood. That's all. Plastic wasn't used in the shift. All right. So, but let's look at that. Let's see what it looks like. I gotta go that way anyway. I'm not gonna go to the tower right now. We'll go to the uh, underground jungle. Uh. Ugh. Any try a rain with cessation? So that's the thing too, is like, I want to shift something into cessation as well. But I would, you know, I would like to have something turn into molten plastic, but then like water to molten plastic would be great. And then steam to mimicium or something like that, just to have Molten plastic raining all over the place. Let me try this. <clears throat> Ship time for like about 40 ish minutes. Or so, right? Because five men per shift? Yeah. It's gonna take a little while to get those shifts. Blah. If I don't somehow get noited in a dumb way. Which should be, we shouldn't at this point. Nah. I don't even want that. You can keep that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Having some water would be nice. Where was- there was a flask over here, right? Someplace. Whatever. Ah, oh, maybe there. Ow. Nice. Lamuxium and plastic. It would be really cool to find some kind of reaction with plastic. Like, we, nobody knows about it. Nice. Nice mystery, man. We make, we create creepy poly by mixing plastic and flamuxium with poly. It's... <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> I still really want creepy liquid to to be obtainable somehow in a secret. That would be my my journey would be complete then. As a noita. That's all I need. Hey. That was the guy we got the plastic from, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, I never killed the... I was gonna kill the pyramid boss. See if we could get a Nala. I guess we'll do that now. Um... Sure. Homing on it, probably should put a homing on it. Short range homing for the easier to not 
kill myself with it. There we go. Maybe. Let's not get polyed over the lake. <clears throat> Nice. Where the hell are you going? Is he, like, not attacking me because I have the Mimic in my inventory? Oh, he is. Or the wands are, anyway. Oh, there you go. Nope. Whoops. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That was close. It's fucking lava everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Spooky. It is spooky. Finally, jeez. It took way too long. Uh wand homing. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. And now we could just do this. Should probably move some of the stuff. Fun. That was a ton of fun. I love being able to heal now like this. It's so, so nice. Hell yeah. All right. I'm actually surprised I didn't kill myself right there because, yeah. Uh, somebody got kind of sleepy. I'll keep a mist. Uh, maybe we will. We're not going to use that. We'll use a mist on there. Maybe, maybe a note as well. Um, we'll take that off, put that back on here, and then we will use whatever. Ah, we have too many of those. Use a G as well. Take that off. We don't need anything fast, really. We're just focused more on the damage than whatever. All right. Uh, oh yeah, but do I have any other multis? <laughs> I think that's plenty of damage. Whatever, this is fine. This will be just perfect. Maybe we'll take... I like the triplicates for the blood. We want to make a lot of blood as well. All right. <clears throat> do, do plastic plus helium equals pills? Wow, that would be... Uh, Interesting. Whatever, just shove this on here, I guess, for now. Yeah, get that out of there. What the heck is that wand? 
Perfect. <laughs> Actually, I'll use that wand for... Yeah, because that's the reverse mana. That's right. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Maybe I'll keep that on there because we didn't have to worry about mana while digging because I don't have any other digging. I guess we still have to worry about mana a little bit. Not really. All right. Um, that'll be a backpack wand, I guess. Whatever. All right. Let's not. Jeez, I gotta dig down. Well, okay, we have a uh, a tunnel leading down into the underground desert already. That's good. I don't have to slowly dig down. All right, now we're gonna go to the pyramid boss and then underground. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't copying the plasma. Um, yeah, just... Nice. Plastic, oh wait. So wait a minute. This is a different kind of sand up there. The desert surface is like desert surface sand. But we shifted blood to sand or sand to blood. But okay. So yeah. Stop it. Oh yeah, it's gonna home into us or me. Well, at least, hey, I can levitate further. Stupid. <laughs> Just don't put plasma on that right now. Forgot, I could have killed myself very easily fighting bridge boss with that. Booming plasma right into my face. If it gets too close to me, then it homes into me. That's why it's better for, for this, anyway. Nice, you're dead. Um, no Nala. Meh. Uh, I don't feel like doing anything. All right. Or changing any wands out. I killed him just basically to get a Nala. Or to try to get a Nala. But no, I don't think there's an easier way known at the moment. Yeah, Lim would know to get Spark. Oh, wait, let me... Ow. All right. Wait. And we should be able to find them on this side too, right? We just got to go over here. Ugh. Of course, having all-seeing eye would be a lot easier, or a lot nicer. We're looking for the green crystals that heal enemies. Now, it might be able to heal me, or and make me invincible as well. And if it does, then that's... Wow. <laughs> I mean, they're not the easiest thing to move around. But you could just, you know make a wand to move one of these crystals around with you and just be become use it as your invincibility machine wait a minute are they only on the other side where am i hang on uh do i want to go below this Um, in the middle, yeah. I'm just, honestly, guys, like, I'm going to have to end the stream soon, I think. Because I'm, like, pretty worn out. I'm trying to do it at least a little bit longer, but I'm like, huh. Wait a minute.
Music. Schmack. Um, let's put on... I don't even know what the Streets of Rogue soundtrack is like. I forgot. It's been a while. Hello? Uh... Okay. Is it just Steam being laggy, or what? Oh, that's why. <clears throat> Derp. Uh. Oh no, never mind. This one just does not want to play. All right. Anyway, well played. How you doing? I wish that the desert surface did turn into plastic. That would have been pretty funny. Good make a living. Huh? Saying that you're making a living? Yeah, I feel like Black Hole would be nice, too. Be real nice. Real nice. Alright. I'm not going to be doing that much digging. Hopefully that was it. Alright. So... We should find at least one of these crystals down here. Uh, let's go closer to the wall, I think. If I can get back over there. Ah. Or even, you know, ping pong path or something would be so much so welcome at this point but this seed has been pretty amazing I'm sure there was some black holes or something somewhere that I missed because I didn't explore that much hmm What the hell? Why no crystals? Why no crystal game? Hang on. <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't find a black hole. It happens. Pretty damn often. I've done some runs, like, without ever finding a black hole. <laughs> but I don't really care. It's not bothering me. To be honest. Why, hello there. Ow. Hello. Ow. That's not good. That's not good. Um. Delicious. 
All right. So it's also you know what the problem also is is my fan on Jesus I'm overheated it gets very very hot in here and like when I stream after a few hours like suddenly I get and I just crash because it's like I'm being roasted alive in here um hang on a sec let me see if I can fix this Lower your metabolism. I know, I just gotta like... Never move. <laughs> Don't eat anything either. Just, just die. <laughs> and then you'll be cold all the time. Uh, Alright. I'm done with this. Goodbye. Goodbye, underground desert. We are out of here. Look, it's the fun cave. Hey, that's not fun. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Not enough, though. My girlfriend woke up from her nap, listened for about 15 seconds, and her only comment was, he sounds eepy. Oh, I am. I'm like real... Real tired, suddenly. It's true. It is true. This uh, actually, like, yeah. Trying to find a uh, crystal down in the underground desert without any black holes is not helping. I'm just going to finish the run, guys. Because I got to... I got to get out of here. <laughs> I got to go outside or something. Go for a drive. I'm just going to go... Or I could put the run on hold, but... I'd rather just finish the run. Get a victory, I guess. I don't like putting, like... This isn't like a long, long run, like the alchemy run or anything. I'm not super invested in the, uh, the, the goal or whatever, you know? Just want to, this isn't the best seed for it either. That's kind of the thing that like burnt me out, <clears throat> burnt me out was, uh, not having enough shifts on the seed for, to do what I wanted to do without waiting a bunch of time between shifts. Plastic. We can get this in any any run. It's not special. Trust me. You can get it in any run. I'll do it again next time or something. This is very easy to get plastic. Again, the shotgunner enemy expels a pixel of plastic every time he fires. He expels it. And, uh, oh, this is nicer now, though. I have, like, cool air blowing on me. <laughs> Um, and all you gotta do is just get 1% of plastic just one little pixel pretty much in a bag from getting the shotgunner to shoot at you what's up base? how you doing? and then from there you could just shift that and then anything you shift it into that comes into contact with fire or, uh, or lava will melt, and you'll get this molten plastic. That's all we've done. It's easy. Easy to do, especially if I do that. It's easy to finish the run when you teleport right into Polly. <clears throat> nice. Uh, <laughs> I just had a really dumb idea, too. Ow. We should have maybe gotten slime blood for this. 
happened. In fact, let me actually... We'll take that off and put another G on there for now. Blood the plastic is fun, but I have to go. So what do you guys want? Do you want me to... Do you think I should just put the... Uh, this run on hold? Because I don't want to play anymore. I'm like pretty like done right now. Yo, the brain is still brained. Nice. I should probably pause it right here. Because this is... Yeah, it's a perfect spot. Maybe we'll continue this run tomorrow. Because I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. I think we'll do that. 